que ce roi vaillant, vive Henri IV, vive ce roi vaillant. Ce diable à a le triple talent de voir et se battre et d'être vergalant. J'aimons les filles et j'aimons le bon vin. J'aimons les filles et j'aimons le bon vin. De l'eau baudrille, voilà le guet refrain. J'aimons les filles et j'aimons le bon vin. Ô oh, diable guerre, rancune c'est parti. Ô oh, diable guerre, rancune c'est parti. Comme nos pères, chantons en vrais amis Au choc des verres, les roses et les lits Vive la France, vive le roi Henri Vive la France, vive le roi Henri Car à son danse, en disant comme Paris Vive la France, vive le roi Henri Vive le roi Henri
Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing? It's definitely not morning. <laughs> banana, banana, Peter Trigida likes to punch bananas in the face. Not a Monday. Every other day of the week is fine, but not Monday. Hello, guys. We're playing as Belgium and uh, role playing as Belgium, considering how our state is as complicated as, well, Belgium. Uh, we have 16 vassals. No, uh, 13 vassals and 3 PUs. Um, we are looking to kill France today, and then we are going to do the Burgundy trick, which some of you already know, but that's fine. Uh, we're just gonna do the Burgundy trick. I would like to seize and sell land, because we do have the money for that, uh, or the capacity for that. Um, we could go grab more defensive ideas, but I don't really see the point in doing that. Well, I guess the year prestige would be nice. I, oh, wow. That would actually put me at max 100. Um... Yeah, we're trying to save up for timber, though, so maybe not. Well, you know, ah, screw it. Here you go. Max prestige permanently. There you go. What is the burgundy trick? I'll just sit, relax, grab yourself a cup of coffee, and I'll show you. All right, cool, because I don't want any spoilers for people that don't know. Okay, anyway, we can go fabricate on um, Brittany. Brittany is allied with the English, and... Um, uh, speaking in a real Elsass accent right now. Uh, 69... 69 nice. Thank you for some for six months in a row. Tip Matt of the user. Where's the Le Chouffet? Chouffet's right here. It has a bell. I don't... Know. We could maybe put this on top of the captain's hat. There you go. Alright, cool. But if you... But if I want to know but don't want to watch, well, then you can go right on ahead and fuck off! <laughs> nah, that's... Well, then, then I guess you could watch the VOD or something. Uh, alright, um, anyway. Uh, what did we do last time? Is the music really loud? Seems kinda loud on my end, I don't know what it's like for you. For you. I'm gonna just bump it down a little bit. Alright, cool, yeah, seems good. Alright, um, so... We need to be at war because otherwise my vassals will declare their independence. If we can't fight France until 85, we need France to get a new alliance so that we can uh, kill him. Our ruler is 36 years old. If he dies, we will have to bird because otherwise the trick doesn't work. Fwang! Thank you for some four months in a row, man. Tip matter to you, sir. Burgundy is a really cool nation with a lot of potential. Shame I'm not good enough at the game to realize its full power. I'll show you its full power today. Alright, let's, uh, let's see. Uh, it's not exactly its full power. I guess we could go further beyond, but yeah, we could go fight that. But first, I want to like do my seize land. I don't think my vassals are gonna declare their independence in a day. You're more handsome than any other day. Thank you, man. That is very nice. I really need to go get a haircut though, and I also need to shave because I look a bit like a hobo. All right, fantastic. Uh, let us go. And, uh, whoa, what are we doing here? Are we all attached? No, we're not. Let's go make sure we are. And Go. I will need to redo my merc companies, and I might want to re already hire some new ones. Let's see. Oh, the, this one's really nice. Also, the Flemish company. What are you all about? Are you more expensive? You are. Oh, no, you're not. Okay, well, we could go get the Flemish company. And I'll try and get rid of some of my other mercs. Um, there's no particularly good leaders I can get there, but this is 13k. Um, which... Should be fine. Uh, would like to get you to unseat Perry. Like a sexy hobo, no homo. Thank you. Uh, have you ever been on a cog? Better yet, has a cog ever been in you? <laughs> no, I've never been on a cog, unfortunately. Alright, let's see. So, I guess we fabricate some more claims on France. Because there's certain provinces that we're going to need to take. Uh, I think. It depends on how much I can reconquest. 28? Forty-seven? Sixty-three. I'm gonna need to take at least one province. Oh, we could also vassalize uh, Provence, actually. Yeah, we totally should. 
We should totally fast slice Provence. Because then we can reconquest more. Yes, I'm also going to fabricate a claim on Provence then. Let's do it. Alright, cool beans. And this guy can come home now. We could also fast slice Brittany. Uh, which we totally should if we can get away with it. But I don't know if we can get away with it. Native Knight and I dip run? Oh yeah, for a little bit. At least until my ruler dies. I can't exactly go to negative 999, but you get the idea. Okay, uh, yeah, no, this is fine. We need to get rid of some of these mercs. Like, this one is done. That one is done and out for the count. And then what is our total troop count? 26. Yeah, that's a little low, isn't it? Um, well, we'll see how things go. I kind of want to pick up Defender of the Faith. Because our war exhaustion is really high and we can't ever buy it down. Do you even have any loyal vassals? No, but my... Um, my PUs are loyal. So that's nice. How's our money supply? Are we still making money? Yeah, we're still making money. What about Barwa? Uh, we could do Barwa, but the thing is they're a uh, dude of the... We could fabricate on them. I don't suppose I can diplomatically vassalize them. No, I can't. So, we would have to get a claim. Um, but I kind of want to go to war because I think otherwise my vassals will declare their independence. Um, that said... Oh, okay, never mind. We're fighting Friesland. Yeah, we're fighting Friesland. Do I have a CB? No. Now that will uh, require us to fight the Emperor, but that's fine. In London there's a cog called Cutty Sark. You can go on that when you come to the wedding. Really? There's an actual cog? My god, did you... Did, it's the entire EU4 universe right there. <laughs> Alright, let's organize this for a bit. Uh, it seems good. I do want to keep paying for my army. And we can sell C's now. Seems good. Isn't it a bark? Uh, bark, cog, potato, potato. Right? This music is very spooky for what we're doing. Can we skip this song? Don't like that song. <laughs> but at least not for this uh, situation. I, I would, it would have been great if he'd allied something else. But yeah, I really just need to reset my truce with France. Because I want to fight him as quickly as possible. So that we can uh, hopefully start firing the Burgundian inheritance. Um, his capital should still be in the same spot. Are you paying for all your forts? No, he's not paying for this one. Let's get our troops over there. And also, we have a dude in here that we can put on hostile trading. So, we can fabricate on fleets on a little faster. Um, because we're not part of the HRE, we don't need 30. So, should be good. Anything else you allied? No, that's it. Just that. Alright, well, cool beans. Are these a merc company? Yeah, okay. I was about to say. They look kind of weird. We built some more buildings. Uh, maybe we can build a workshop on... Oh, we can because we don't have a tech. Right. <laughs> Are you going to try and get the subjugation CBs, etc.? Subjugation CBs? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I've gotten King of the France, if that's what you mean. Oh, from the incident. What? <clears throat> if the Emperor says no to me joining... Uh, probably, yeah, but we'll have to click all these buttons. So... Um, that's gonna be some time. Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know if the Emperor will do that. If they'll say no to me joining, though. I don't... I don't really know. I'm assuming they will, but... I, I, I just don't know. So we'll see how that goes. I, I've not actually played as Burgundy before. Uh, so I don't really know how that works out. Uh, Gillen, thank you so much for 10 months of romance. Tip out of you, sir. Are you going to declare bankruptcy after integrating all the minions to gain free dip? No. 
No, no, no. But I don't... Or will the run end afterwards? Hey, so those are definitely not mutually exclusive. Um... But I don't think I'm gonna declare bankruptcy to gain free dip. Um... I don't think that's worth it. We'll see. If it actually goes to negative 999, it might be worth it, but I don't know. Boss Boss 11, thank you so much for 14 months in a row. Tip out to you, sir. Yeah, I'm just gonna go fight this real quick. I could, I guess I could tell France to release something, maybe? But I don't think I wanna do that. No, I just wanna white piece him so we can fight him again after five years, and then we just need to do that one more time, and then we can fix the rest, so. Whoa! My mouse died, died there. <laughs> Mission 3 looks pretty fun, actually. Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, especially, like, uh, if we do this, we can form Lotharingia using the um, mission. Which I, I'm assuming it's the only... Wait, what is this? The fate of John of Arc. What does this do? Oh, that's interesting. Maybe we can, like, um... Seize Barwa or something. Huh. You could also dismantle the HRE, and then we can probably diplomatically vassalize this guy, but... Not entirely sure how that would work. Um... Okay. Well, this is fine. We are the paper controller right now. We and the Pope is, um... Really young. I guess we could spend some money to get... More paper points, and then maybe we can get a back-to-back -back, uh, Pope. He's 50 years old right now, so... If we want to do something nasty, now would be the time to do it. So, Vassalize in Brittany and all that. Although, I'm pretty close to grabbing this as well, just to fight wars. We could also grab Golden Era right now, but I don't really see the point in doing that. Have I done the trick yet? No, you'll know when I've done the trick. You're gonna be like, wait, how did you do X? And then I'm gonna be like, yeah, like this. Okay, cool. So we have our claim on Friesland. Uh, let me just go check who Brandenburg is allied to. Yeah, nothing special, bunch of nobodies. So we can just go declare this war. The most important bit would be to peace out France. You're paying for your fort. He is not paying for the Châtrelon. Um, But I don't have an army next to that. I think we're gonna need a little bit more troops. So I'm gonna get the Vautier. And then once that guy finishes, we'll declare the war so we can uh, bomb rush him. I don't suppose I have any professionalism, right? No, no, no. If you play as only I, you can become the Holy Order. You can become Holy Order with the event following that button. Otherwise, if you own the province but not only are, it just ends there. So, what does it do for me then? Lord Fire and Fury, thank you for some for seven months in a row. Tip matter to you, sir. Alright. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna declare we're on the 1st of December, or somewhere near that. There we go, units are done, and now we can go fight this war, so... Friesland. And yeah, we're just looking for a white piece with France, and that's all we're looking for here. I might even white piece the, um... Other war, because there's no point fighting that. And yeah, we're just looking for a quick, quick 10 minute in and out adventure here. Just a white piece, that's all we're looking for. Um, let's try and see if we can't do this immediately. I think we should be able to. Alteran Angel, thank you for some for 52 months of Roman. Tip matter to you, sir. It gives only our 5% discipline, but something else in around 200 years. Wow, okay. You get a guaranteed 9 dice roll. Well, that's, that seems awfully powerful. <laughs> One, one nine dice roll. That's it. You don't get anything else. Alright, uh, we already have permit claims on all of France, actually, so we don't really need to fabricate more on him. Uh, fabricating on Provence, there should be a way to do that. Yeah, okay, cool. So we have a CB on Provence, that means we can vassalize him. Uh, our truce is gonna end in 77. Our truce with France also ends 77. Actually, France ends right before Provence. So... That's a little awkward. Because uh, I'll want to use Reconquest on main. Um, as well, to guarantee that we can uh, kill France the next war. Yeah, well, we'll see how things go. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, boy, oh boy, that's a lot of mercs. 
Uh, yeah, and like I said, we just want to fight peace out of this, yeah? Uh, I think we'll just try and attach everyone to this, so let's see. Can we attach you to the Dutch? And you to the Dutch as well. I'll just watch around. I'm I'm sure uh, this will be a stomp. I'm assuming we have so much morale. Six morale in 1472. Six. Six morale in 1472. Jesus Christ. I think I have five morale in the Asturias campaign. Belgian courage, yeah, no, no kidding. It's actually crazy. Six morale. How? Well, let's take a look at all of our bonuses. So we have Defend of the Faith, Burgundian Traditions, uh, Defensive Ideas, we have a morale guy. We've got Rock Solid PP, 66 AT, 100 Prestige, the last Jousting Tournament, and 15% from King of the Franks, which gives me 15%. Uh, for 20 years so every bonus in the book except uh, AT isn't maxed but as we fight battles it will because we've got defensive ideas now so let's see how much of a stomp this is going to be exactly gonna arrive here on the 25th watch this watch this yeah double his morale it's like we're fighting natives <laughs> these battles are going to be very short indeed and we're still making money, which is lovely. Uh, wait. Turn them around? Don't listen to me. Okay, yeah, thank you. It only sucks that because we need to use so many mercs, so... Yeah, we do lose quite a bit of troops every time we fight, though. Uh... Okay, so what exactly am I at war with? So I don't think I need to like go over to Brandenburg and piece them out. Uh, then again, weakening Brandenburg could be useful if we want to like... But I want to fight Brittany now, because I want to vassalize them before. And that's going to take some time, because I'll need England to leave. So maybe just wrap this war up as quickly as possible. Just occupy Groningen and Friesland and then call it a day. Hopefully. Big Mocky, thank you for... Uh, something for three months in a row, man. Tip matter to you, Sid. Did Floyd forget you? Of course I didn't, Lord Fire Fury. Of course I didn't. Uh, how are you six morale? Yeah, I just, uh, we got a bunch of bonuses. I got every single bonus. I got a bunch of mission rewards as well. Uh, how do you not have to struggle with independence as higher of subjects? Okay, so vassals, AIs in general, won't declare a war if they're at war. So even though these guys have 100 liberty desire, they don't want to declare their independence as long as we're in a war. Uh, now eventually they will, if we stay at peace. But we're just gonna be in constant war and we'll be okay. Uh, the Jean event arc is pretty cool. You can become a female ruler crusader state. Wait, we can? As Burgundy? Nukarab, thank you for some five months in a row, man. Tip matter to you, sir. Why is Hungary so damn big? I mean, they're not that big. They're just eight Valaki and that's it. No, only as Orléans. Okay, but then what is the point of pressing the button as Burgundy? So that's what we were looking for. Is it just to let Orléans go... Um, Jean d'Arc? There's no point. The button gives 10 prestige and 10 legitimacy. Really? It's like... Uh, Doing the mission for... What was it called again? The Franconia one where you have to conquer like all of Germany and all of Italy and then be like Swabian Empire. Yeah, it's the Swabian one. Swabian Empire and then it gives plus one year, uh, yearly prestige, yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> Alright, uh, I guess we'll just march into Berlin. Seems good. Wiki says, after 200 years and another event, you need to own only on B French culture. After burning Jean d'Arc, we get a reward after 200 years. Own Orléans, be French culture. Uh, maybe we'll see that. But maybe you read it wrong. All right. Uh, we'll just burn, or uh, we'll just burn her, and then we'll see what goes. Is there like a time limit for me to burn her? Because I'm pretty sure she's already dead. So, not entirely sure how that happens. Uh, okay, let me just go do some of this. Sure, you can have no access, that's fine. As 
long as we don't need to ask anything. Um, <clears throat> Freeze Zone is already on medium. Really, the only thing we need is to finish the siege, and then we can go. Um, and yeah, I think after this, we'll just go fight Brittany and try to vassalize that. Uh, we could also try and fight this dude, but we're already at war with the Emperor, so it's like not allowed. Also, I don't have a CB. I'm gonna go get one. And then stop doing this one. You just cannot be Burgundy through Bur oh, You cannot be Burgundy, though. Burgundy just has the choice to either burn her or... Okay, but what if I'm Lotharingia? Okay, and de I can declare her innocent. Drastically lowered the MTTH. Okay... Did you see in the latest dev that you're changing the province cost and the grass expansion over extension since there's so many new provinces? I did see that. I did see that. And I also, what I was most excited about was the uh, performance fixes. And also, I can't, I already have the pre-release. Uh, I think we should not talk about this because I might just uh, spill the beans on a couple things. So I can't. <laughs> Uh, I'm worried that I might uh, spill some beans. Uh, let me think about it. We can talk about a patch though, so that's fine. Uh, this is getting kind of worrisome, to say the least. How about we just assault? We've got so much morale that assaulting might just work. Like, we just win by morale and then we can just peace out. You can tell us why you won't squeal. I don't know what's been revealed. There's new monuments, I know that that's been revealed, but I, I'm not sure if all of the monuments have been revealed. Yeah, we win just purely by morale. Now we can probably piece him out, right? Yeah, there you go. Cool. So, dealt with that. Problem. Don't need to deal with it anymore. And now we can go fight Brittany. And we will do that immediately. Uh, as soon as I have a diplomat. <sighs> Yeah, because I don't want to be at peace, because peace is bad. Peace is dangerous. Uh, I will want to grab Tech 6 here, so that we can build a workshop on our most powerful province, that is Burgundy itself. 55 dockets a month, don't mind if I do. Check who can be excommunicated. Oh, we can take a look, sure. Also, level 2 diplomat, I will want to use that guy. And we can put our focus on... Oh, we're actually, we're making dip. We've stemmed the bleeding, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Alright, uh, maybe I can excommunicate something? I don't know, it might be worth a check. Uh, where do I check this? It's like, uh, over here, right? We can excommunicate provide- OH! Fuck yes! Awesome. Um, but I can't- I probably shouldn't have excommunicated them. Yet. I probably should have waited. Why am I losing so much Diplo? Uh, because we have uh, a new HRE. <laughs> I have 16 vassals. So, that doesn't really help. But don't worry about that. It's gonna be completely fun. How close are we to getting this tech? Uh, pretty close. I really want cannons. Cannons gonna speed up my everything so much. Uh, and the truce with France is gonna be over in four years, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Alright, so my army's here, so we can go fight these guys at least. Probably stack wipe them and make them die. Are we all gonna arrive at the same day? Yes. Charlemagne's wet dream the game, laughing my fucking ass off. Yeah. Did I do the trick already? No, you'll know when I've done the trick. If you don't know what the trick is, you'll know when I've done the trick if you've missed it. Um Excommunicate Gascony. Yeah, that doesn't seem like the way to go. Uh we need to ask Mill Access to cleave. And Munster. Oh, what is this, Berg? And now apparently we're just allowed to march like this. Which is interesting. I don't want to cancel this because I'm losing so much zip. 
In about 50 years. Oh no! No, we'll take up dip soon, actually. Pretty soon. Once our ruler's dead. Uh, if our ruler's dead, we, we're gonna burn, by the way. But I've already explained that. Because otherwise I can't do the trick, and I don't want to show you the trick, and otherwise we've done all this for nothing, so... Yada yada. Time to go fight Burgundy. Oh, okay, sorry, Brittany. We are Burgundy. I'm not gonna fight myself. I wonder if England's actually gonna do something here. Could be interesting. Also, did you ally anything else? He's allied Thomond now. Thomond. Interesting. So what's the trick again? Yeah, your your ma. <laughs> your ma's the trick. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're trolling me at this point. Alright. Uh <laughs> Can I tell you guys to stop splitting? That'd be really nice. I wonder what No! Listen to me, you're not- No one is attached here! <laughs> no one is attached! You stay in Utrecht! Sometimes this happens, I don't know why, but sometimes this happens. Okay. Though like- the, it, This is like how, uh... Um... The attachment has memory. It has memory, somehow. There's no reason for it to have memory. But, I, I guess, uh, Peter von Gelden believes in homeopathy or something, and he's like, but, but, at one point in the past, I was attached to this army, so I better walk this way. He's gonna move again, I'm pretty sure. Is the trick related to soup? Uh, yeah. It is. I guess. See, if you get a soup and you stir it really hard... I, I, fucking, I don't know where I was going with that. Am I going to vassalize Utrecht too? I, I could, but uh, I think that's going to be too much AE to handle. Uh, this is already going to be pushing it. No, we're fine. But I'd like to add Brittany and Bar. And also we need to vassalize Provence. And I'm going to try to vassalize Provence before the French war, so that we can use proper reconquest on France. What's the trick about? Lamps. Soup for the family, sure. Alright, uh, let's go do this. This is fine and dandy. Ooh, an heir. Uh, do I care? I don't... No, I don't, I don't really care. I'm just gonna give me the deer. We don't need an heir. Vastalize the Ottomans. Yes, that is the trick. You got me. We're gonna pee you, Ming. <laughs> oh, man. When, when can I get my... Okay. Ooh, nice. So, the Ottomans got, uh... Bronze cannons. That's to be expected. Uh, England, I don't think they're ever gonna peace out, which is very problematic. Oh, they're landing now. Uh, we could side with the bourgeoisie. Do that. Also, we don't need this many dudes on there, so we can just tell these to go to Finestria. And we just got Gelret. Very sweet. Okay, cool. Uh, let me just detach you. And have you guys march over here, and then we can go fight the English. Ah, oh, we'll need mill access again. Not through cleave as well. This is weird, isn't it? Ah, whatever. If it works, it works. So, I guess we just enter this now? Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, sorry, I missed the sub. Uh, Trat Vito, thank you for four months in a row, man. Tip man after you, sir. <laughs> sorry for bad English. Sorry for bad English. Excuse me for my terrible. I have something in my teeth. It's very distracting. Um, what was I doing? I was chasing after these, but also this is kind of ass now. Uh, he's gonna build that unit on the 19th of February, but we will be able to stop it on time. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna try not piecing out Utrecht and uh, the other guys. Because then we might be able to fast slice 
uh, Brittany slightly faster. Although I don't know if it really matters. England, stop running away from me. Please, England, just stop running away from me. No, he's gonna run further into Germany. You're being a real piece of work right now, England. This is uh, something else. No. Just let me ca- Oh, and there's more Englishmen up north. Yeah. He's gonna liberate Utrecht as well. Why would you walk like this? These, uh, these subjects of- are these, uh, the spathing with these mercs is actually something else. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Uh, okay, he's actually Dunkirking out. So is that one. Who's leaving first? This guy. So, yeah, we need to go to Overstift because that guy can't leave. Cancel mill exercise! Okay, but if I do that, I can't kill these Englishmen. So, I'm gonna go kill those first. If you don't mind. Okay, fantastic. <clears throat> Let's talk about the set that the AK just survived against the- Yeah, well, I mean, they survived. It's not that difficult, I suppose. They didn't get stack whipped. Okay, fantastic. We finally got over six, so now we can cancel these. And we can kill the final Utrechtian troop. I'm just gonna leave that guy there permanently. I'm gonna detach these. I'm gonna kill the remainder and then land on Utrecht again. Very sexy. Alright, cool. So, I don't know how happy England is about the war. I mean, they're pretty happy, so. I beg an excuse for a poor phrasing of my thoughts. I wasn't born native to the, to the part of the world using the language with the origin in south of British Peninsula. British Peninsula? It's not a peninsula. Um. But yeah, I, I, I'll excuse you because you're not born to that part, I suppose. Gotta make a mistake somewhere, otherwise it doesn't work. I don't... Sure. We'll do that one. How's the Pope doing? Pope's still very much alive. I got the AE reduction. Really do want to piece this out before we. Hey, shit! Marie of Burgundy. It seems that the line of Burgoyne has grown rotten and withered with Charles the First's final seed. Charles I de Bourgogne has been incapable of producing an heir in all his years as the last remaining male of the Bourgogne line. However, the Duke did produce a talented and beautiful princess by the name of Marie. His father, Philippe de Bourgogne, famously despised Marie and insisted that no woman should sit on the throne of Burgundy. But Charles I is not his father, and times are growing desperate. Should Charles I die without producing an heir, Marie will become his de facto successor either way. But if Charles I forsook the pursuit of male heir and favored Marie as the rightful heir to Burgundy, her claim will be strengthened and we may be able to negotiate our way through the succession crisis with minimal strife. Female heirs are seen as quite a prize for ambitious men, and Marie's succession may lead to Burgundy's falling on reunion with a foreign power. Now, Sir Bourgoyne has a bright future with Marie. I don't know why that was Churchill, but there you go. We have Marie. Uh, she's not gonna see the light of day. Uh, we're gonna lose uh, this claim, and we need to lose that before we die, but that's fine. Alright. Why is the streamer screaming at us? I didn't mean to scream. Oh, she's benevolent. Well, you're not gonna... No, yeah, okay, it's gonna drop, that's fine. Have you seen the news in which they found an island made of junk in the middle of the ocean? But I don't really get it. We know England's been around for centuries, right, Flurry? <laughs> claim doesn't matter for this, Marie. What? Oh, claim doesn't matter for this, Marie? I will always get the succession? That was a funny joke, though. <laughs> I don't see how this is news. All right. Yes, it will always happen for this, Marie. Okay, cool. Thank you. 
Because I do need it to happen. I just need it to happen on my terms. Since the Savoy is over, they're not gonna join a coalition or anything like that. Can we cancel some more Milwaukee's? Yeah, Cleave. Or Cleave. Or Clave. I suppose it's pronounced Clave, right? You no longer receive trade power from the Italian. Oh, that's a good thank you. I still get some. I still get some from Florence, but it's probably time to move this guy. Uh, where would we park him? I guess we collect from trade in Gascony? Or would we make more money if I did this? Oh, we'll go check. So, this dock will we'll experiment with both this thing and that thing. So, right now we make... Well, it's gonna go down either way, so I'm gonna go check. So this is 11.25, and collecting from trade here... Fort, does this, did they fix this? Oh, they did, nice. How old are you? 18 years old, wow. That's funny, because I've been hiring this uh, guy since he was uh, 14, but that's interesting. And we got a new leader. Right, because obviously the leader now works for us. Do we have a siege guy on this? Well, we don't have our double siege dude, so let's go use him. Do not attach to this dude, and you are gonna walk somewhere else. I'm gonna go chase down the English now, I guess. Um, if you could attach to me, then we can go deal with the Briton Indians as well. All right, seems good. Check his birth certificate. Yeah, I think he lied. So is that Joan of Arc? Philippe de la Chesnay. Chesnay? Chesnay. Chesnay. Philippe. His name is Philip. Three of Napoleon's trusted generals were 14. Seriously? I, I want to get the ammo. Seriously? 14? 14? I guess in the past they didn't really think of children as children. They just thought of them as small humans. So I suppose that makes sense, but 14 seems excessively little. They are small humans, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, sure. But there's like no... Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> I think you know what I meant. <laughs> But, like, no different from an adult other than the size, if that makes any sense, okay? That's kind of what I was trying to get at. Fantastic. So, yeah, uh, I don't think we can piece this out without... Uh, yeah, probably not. We'll just see how it goes. Uh, we can probably maybe... I don't know, we're still losing money. So maybe we should... Okay. Yeah, we've gotten all the war score that we could possibly get. I think we'll already start to prepare for our war against Provence. We can't do excommunication unless we seize a province, though. You you get a discount from forced excommunication war, right? So... Is any of our vassals' marches even remotely close to being loyal? No. I guess we could take Nantes temporarily, just to be able to declare the war against Provence. But we'll give it back later. I'm not gonna, like, core it. Yeah. So, I, I want to take Nantes. And then vassalize him. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, miss up. Sorry, I'm blind. I'm sorry to think for a little bit. Uh, Button Kip, thank you for some for 38 months in a row, man. Tip out of the history. Will we get a special discount roll for FemboyCon 2021? <laughs> Um, I get. I guess. I guess we should. Yeah. Uh, I'm not good with that sort of stuff, though. So, should we really call it Fanboy 2021? Maybe just Awesome Con, so we'll remember. Uh, I'm gonna stop paying for my army. The rest is fine. Yeah, seems good. I mean, he is submissive and breedable. Oh yeah, that that happened. <laughs> kind of forgot about that. Um, 
To become an officer in the Napoleonic period, a man would need to have entered the Navy at a suitable age, certainly no older than 14, to build up enough sea time and practical experience to pass the lieutenant's examination, which required that the examining board be presented with evidence that he had spent six years at sea, at least two of them in the Navy, and that he appeared to be 20 years old, which was the minimum age to become a lieutenant. Wow, look at that. Best call was Pater, Pat, Peter Kekon last year. That was nice. It was uh, COVID con. COVID con with Sir Guy Man. Yeah, French Navy, Peppa Laugh. <laughs> Maybe we should pay for our army, even though we can't really afford this. It's not like I'm over forced of it. I'd like to get some cannons. Hello? Yes. I think it's interesting that it does that. Let me go get 5,000 cannons so we can at least do some of that good stuff. And maybe we should try and get rid of some of our... Some of our mercs. Um, yeah, the free milk cuts have uh, the lowest amount. So I'll get rid of him. It's gonna take a really long time to get rid of England. But yeah, provided that there's no... way. But I do need to peace out... Before, because I won't get my CB otherwise. Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Right, let's go fix our army. Ah, and there's the English. Maybe we can do that to speed up the the piecing out of the English. Really sucks that they allied England, dude. Alright, crap. It's gonna fail. Thank you. Take Nantes, vassalize England, and vassalize of the eight years. Um. Now, well, we have another two years. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Now, look, we started in seventy-two, so. Worst case scenario, we have to wait until December to piece them out, but that's fine. And that's the absolute worst case scenario, so. I mean, he's not even co-belligerent. No, we shouldn't do that. I don't need to do this. Let's just farm some money from these other wars. Yeah. Seems good. Yeah, we just have to wait. We just have to wait. That's it. Will you scorch Limburg to uh, prove my impartiality? My impartiality? I'm not impartial. Uh... This is eight now. It's less than that. Also, we're still losing money or not making money. What am I supposed to do with my mission? Improve relations with Morocco. Okay. Let's go do that, and we can also fabricate on bar now. Uh, I can almost fabricate on Verdun too, but I guess there's not really a point to doing that. Uh, actually, no, there is a point to doing that. Uh, NL Winkle, thank you so much for five months of romance. Tip letter to you, sir. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mercs are so lovely, man. I love them to bits. I mean, I guess at this point, I don't really need my vassals to help me out, so I'm just gonna put them on siege. So that maybe they'll be useful. Because they're getting in the way more than anything, really. No free diplomat might screw me again? Ah, uh, yeah, one sec. Yeah, so either we wait, uh, what is it, like 27 months or something? 
Well, more than 27 months. Music's a bit on the outside, let me pop it down a notch. Generally, attaching all armies to the quickest army fixes the problem. Generally, nothing fixes anything. Alright, what is the fastest army? I guess it would be STN Pensec. But they're, they're, I'm not gonna try and... It, it shouldn't be like this. It should just be attached to the top army. And it shouldn't break in general, but... Alright, so who's the fastest one then? It's the Routier. Let's have everyone attached to the Routier. I'll control group that one so that if we get into a normal position where you click on the army it doesn't select the route you can't move this you should just be able to move this if you click on this you should be able to click and do that instead of needing to go uh which one do i need to get uh Ruchie, i don't know uh, 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 uh but at least you can control group it and then you always control the right one so i guess we should do that to make ourselves not go insane generally there are no bugs. let's see if this works it still doesn't work. Now, now, it tells my, now, it, this guy breaks. So there's no way to fix it. It's just, it's stupid. It's just dumb. Okay. Well, at least we know now. <clears throat> look, look at what he's doing. Look how far ahead he is. Look how far ahead he is. He's like three provinces ahead. Yeah. All right, let's unassign the leader. Oh, oh, this is even better. Look at this. Look at it. Look at this. Look at that. Huh. Sweet. <clears throat> Yeah, Merc uh, attaching system's great. Alright. You should be able to select as many armies as you want and right click and they move at the same speed. You know, just like every strategy game. Yeah. Imagine playing Age of Empires and needing to do something like this to make them walk in the same, at the, at the same speed. And then having one unit attached to the other army, you can't move it unless you click on the right one, so you have to go control group them all. Oh, beautiful. I mean, old mercs were terrible. So, the new mercs are better. Like, remember, remember, remember old mercs? See, we have this romanticized view of old mercs, right? But, you, you know, you remember what happened when, like, 1k enemy troops snaked past your forts, walked into an area like this, Siege down Vet Luga and then started spamming mercs out of this and carpet sieging you? Yeah. Do we really want that back? <laughs> or um, having uh, the Ottomans have um, an available merc pool of 200,000 mercenaries. And then no matter what you would do, they would always have an army of like 450k. Even if you've been fighting them for... A thousand years because the mercs never ran out there was an infinite pool of mercenaries attaching works this way the army that is attached slows down to the slowest army but the attached units don't slow down so maneuver pips on attached units break the system so don't use leaders with maneuver on attached unit so don't use leaders with maneuver you mean the thing that I have no control over because these leaders all have maneuver yeah, no, okay. Uh, I guess we shouldn't use a leader then. No, who needs leaders? Alright, let's try merging this again. Or using this again. Why can't I... Okay. So, we should all attach to STN Pensec. Because he has some maneuver in it. Yes. And now, let's see if it works. It's not gonna work. There's no... This is like... Trying to figure out how, um, I don't know. Let's see. Does it work? Does it work? It appears to work. It appears to work now. Yeah, now it appears to work. Okay. So, really what you need is to get negative maneuver leaders. So, 
you can use your mercenaries. Or, we shouldn't get merc companies that have maneuver pips in them. Because it'll break. Alright, sounds good. We can get the autonomy change, that's nice. And in one year's time, we can go fight the Provence, hopefully. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, bourgeois getting some loyalty, that's fine. I also don't want to lose dip right now. We could sell, uh, I could seize if I was at peace, but we're not at peace. Would we be able to seize if I was at peace? No. No, we wouldn't. Uh, I would really enjoy it if we could wrap up this war, though, because the Pope's 51 already. Uh, England's now at 12, so might be able to get this done on time. If we get a little, cute little stack wave. At least in no army campaigns we don't have this problem. Yeah, I guess. Oh, not a stack web, crazy. Uh, we'll stack web it either way. What did that do for English morale? Okay. He's landing on Calais. Oh, this should be easy enough. Um. See, I might be able to peace out England now. It's probably no way, so let's just piece this out. I'm, my prestige will come back. It is realistic. Armies experience unexpected delays all the time. Remember how in Total War, you, sometimes the reinforcements doesn't even show up? Okay. But if you want realism, then uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. You should disable the ledger. Uh, we should uh, say that you can only... You only find out about battles a month after they've happened. Um, I don't know. You can fight one war every 50 years and then you have to recover. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if realism is something we should strive for. But maybe that's just me. Oh, yeah, and no 3 million casualties in 15, 1450. I mean, it sucks, but at least it's fixable this way. One could surely use mercs without maneuver properly. I mean, yeah, sure. This is at least something we can use instead of needing to pause every day. So it, it, it works. It works. Right, four months, and then we can probably peace out, which is good because we need to fight. Uh... But I don't know, are we gonna get coalition? Because I'd like to wait with finding France now. Your face is realistic. Aww. That's very nice of you. No, no, we got like zero AE, so we don't need to, like. I mean, it's not like my vassal are gonna declare independence in the six months that it takes me to fight Profound. So we can just peace out as soon as possible if England wants to leave. And hopefully they will. Okay, that will do the trick. Let's go over there. Broken attacking is the representation of lack of discipline in mercs. Mercs should be way more disciplined than whatever peasant you find on the street and give a, a spear. Like, how long, how long did they expect training for a pikeman in a tertio formation? What was it? 14 days? If that's even... 14 days to get a peasant? Whereas, these guys have been fighting for decades, it's their profession. It's like that movie 300, where you ask what is your profession. But these normal troops, they're like a baker, or a farmer. And these, these are real soldiers, right? But, because you built these instantly, it feels like it's the other way around. But it's not. Alright, Truce with France is over, but they're not gonna, like, gonna join a coalition. Who are you allied with? Did you get any new allies? Uh, it's a void, but that's fine. Every good army needs a good baker. Well, I, I suppose that is true. Do you know Ghost Drilling is fixed in a new update? Professionalism game is now based on actual troop count. Oh, okay, cool. Cool beans. I don't not know that. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's not like 300 has uh, any historical value whatsoever, apart from cinematography. But, um, that's not really relevant. What I was talking about is where they say ahoo ahoo and it looks really cool and you know that they're professional soldiers. And mercs should be better. And they, they, they are better now, because look, they got bonuses. So they are better, which is good. I like, I like the merc system. I just wish the attaching was not so clunky. That's the only thing I'm annoyed about. If the attaching system was great, then it, the, this would be a perfect system. Beautiful. Wait, it's already way better than what it was before, but 
It's just a bit clunky. Yeah, we'll only have a moment of peace here anyway. Oh, no, we won't because he's got war score. Oh, no, never mind. Cool. You can peace him out. All right. Nice. Awesome. So, yeah, Brittany, give me this and your money. Nobody cares. Perfect. Now, we should have a CB on you. Yeah. And I should keep this CB. Uh, yeah. Okay. We need to wait. I should be able to, like, I should keep the CB when I give this away, right? Or do I lose it instantly? X Square X, thank you for some for 37 months in man. Tip matter to you, sir. You lose it? Okay. So then we will just go fight Provant. But that's fine. Uh, we'll wait. We'll have to wait two months. We'll have two months apiece and then we can go fight that. I'll be back in a bit. Is it almost time for the trick? When we kill France, it's time for the trick. Which, we're gonna fight one more war against France. And then probably make him annul his treaty so he gets a new ally that we can use to refresh the truce again. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do reconquest for Toulouse and Dauphiné and also Maine because I will be vassalizing Provence here. And then uh, next up we can just vassalize France itself and then we'll have uh, all of France secured. You want the trick now? Well, you can't have it now. It's not done. It's in the oven. I can't give you a raw trick because then you get trick Monella and that can be very dangerous. So, I, I'm not gonna give you a raw trick. Alright, welcome back. 
So, what are we doing? We're waiting two months and then we're gonna go fight Provence. Who is allied to Florence again and Milan. Milan joins, but Florence doesn't. Okay, good. So, uh, yeah, are you paying for this 40 years? We're gonna want to deal with Milan first, so let's go park our army near that. And hopefully our vassals don't declare independence because that would be really bad. Last time I tried it, somebody else said it. Last time I tried it, somebody else said it. Okay. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Um, I'm going to go fight this. I'm gonna wait one more month because two ends in July. Let's see. As a Canadian French, I give you full permission to kill all the fake French. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, let's do excommunicate while we're here. Boom. Fantastic. So now we're at war, so we don't need to worry about this shit. Uh, we can go get no access here. I'm gonna go deal with uh, Milan first, and then we can do a rest. Oh crap, I forgot to seize land. Uh, we wouldn't have been able to do that anyway. So it's fine. And then after we uh, vassalize Provence, we can give this land back over to Brittany, it's fine. Uh, I would like to tell Brittany to give me his trade power, because they're gonna be upset anyway. So it should be good. I hope you get a Union CB against all the electors. Uh, this would be more fun. Um, Union CB against all the electors. Well, I don't think we can do that until the Burgundian inheritance is fired already. Um, so we can't actually do that, but we'll see. Oh, you mean like after we've done the trick? Oh, uh, sure, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how things develop. Hey. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go siege down Milan, and then we don't even need all of these guys here. We can tell the rest of these to go march over to Toulon. Uh, maybe together with some more reinforcements or something like that. Does going bankrupt now give you 200 dip? Yeah, 206. I suppose. But it also gives me, uh, negative 3 stab and a whole bunch of nasty shit, so... I don't wanna, like, do that, but we could, yeah. Are there any more normal troops in this? Yes. Are you attached? No. So you can split. And get a little bit more on war score. How old is my ruler? He's 43, so we really need to hurry up. Uh, because if he dies, the Burgundian inheritance fires. Uh, like I said, I will bird if that happens. Uh, okay, so the Pope just declared war on Provence, and I think that... Wait, what? Huh? What? Who did you declare war on? Oh, I actually declared war on Provence. Okay. Um, shit. That means they're going to end up at war with the Pope. Uh, shit. <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Um, yeah, no, that's definitely not what I wanted. Maybe you can already ask access to him and uh, walk on top of his capital. Uh, we don't need to do that yet, actually. We can wait. Let me just cancel this real quick. Then you can return province from the... Oh, yeah, no, that's right. That's great, actually. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's gonna make us look very pretty. Alright, um... Yeah, we can peace out Milan, but I'm gonna walk into the Pope first. Uh, wait, no, 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 we gotta siege down this. Uh, our vassals got that, we don't need to help them out. I can just march over to the Pope, that's fine. Yeah, it should be good. So, Mr. Milan, I want your... Trade power, your money, and your money. Okay, he's not willing to give me this. Missed my Twitch baby. Maritime Ideals number one. Thank you for something for nine months in a row, man. Tip out of you, sir. Sorry for missing your Twitch baby. Unpope the Pope. Yeah. Gonna uncork him. Wait, what? Unpop? Pop? 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 Pop, pop the champagne? We'll deal with Mr. Pope, man. Alright, let's go. And we didn't need to ask any of these mill accesses, because. We... Actually, no, we did. I don't know if this is gonna work, actually. It might exile my units. Who knows? Uh, occupied by Saluzzo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's fine, because we're going to vassalize him anyway. I would like to bring my cannons over. Uh, do I? Well, yeah, that's kind of our limiting factor here. So let's go bring our cannons over there. And we'll have these guys sit around Mr. Pope, man. 
Burning? Yeah, so burning is, uh, closing the game without saving it. If we die now without- uh, if we die now, then we have to burn, because otherwise I can't show you the trick. Which is not some- how we usually roll, but because it's so- Anything Burgundy Inheritance basically merits any sort of trick, right? If you're gonna do a campaign with BI, it's so random, uh, you pretty much have to accept the fact that you're gonna need to burn a couple times. Uh, you could just say, okay, well, I'll just roll with the punches, but that's not what I'm trying to show here, so. Ah, uh, really? You still don't want to accept this beast deal? It's kind of stupid. Also, might want to get, like, a leader on that. Okay. So, please tell me this is enough? Okay, cool. Could have asked more money. He devved, so he got a little bit more cash there. Do you have your army here? No. He does not. Also, now we can just march over to Roma. And we'll also need to siege down Avignon. Uh, so I'm actually going to get myself some extra cannons now. Because I'm uh, kind of tired of not having enough cannons. And that also means that we're going to want... One of these cannons to stay in Toulon. Because there's no point doing 5-5 five five if you're doing two forts. I, I just got too long. But there's still no reason to do 5-5. Five five, so. Alright. Uh, so yeah, as soon as we're able, we should vassalize this guy. Should get a discount. AE what? Yeah, not nothing. Good. Of course, we are missing some time to fight France right now, which is kind of sad. And, uh, yeah, we'll want to make sure that we can piece something else out really quick. Uh, yeah, okay, so Savoy- Oh, we can actually make Savoy break their alliance with France, which is very useful. Or we could- Yeah, no, I'm gonna make him break the alliance with France, that's fine. Yeah, seems good. Uh, we could also, in order to speed things up a little bit, get you guys over there. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think we just want to piece out and go as quickly as possible here. So... Okay, um, no, because we did the Cloud War for Anju, we actually need this siege to finish. Just with Castile is over. Watch them ally France now. Okay, we got Anju, so we can vassalize you now. Yeah, take the money. Nobody cares, right? Yeah. So, reward the Pope. And yeah, we did get to keep the occupations there, so... It's very sexy. Uh, we can just march straight in to Avignon. Avignone. And we don't have enough cans to actually breach the wall. But we do have that over here, so... Let's get this party started. Do not touch my cannons, please. And, uh, you know what? I want to listen to some... Uh, Vive Henri IV. I really fucking like this song. I hope I picked the right one here. No, this isn't the right one. No. I want the older one. Oh, this one! Yes! This version is the best version. Oh, yes! Oh! It's actually for Navarra, but it's fine. A local talent! <laughs> Local talent! Hilarious! Alright, so he went for local talent. Interesting. I don't know what it is. I think it's a combination of the drums and the, the whatever the flute is. Le rose et le lily. Like the alliteration when they sing about the lilies. Le rose et le lily. It's my jam, man. It's my jam. Oh, 
qu'est-ce qu'on peine la lune avec les temps Link it? Sure. There you go. Vive la France, vive uh, Urgent Salmon, thank you for something for 20 months of romantic matter to you, sir. Yeah, this song is just about, like, uh, drinking, fighting. Uh... And then something about Henri the Fourth. It's just like, oh yeah, we drink and we fight and it's fun and we're bleh. rough guys, tough guys, blah 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 blah. A balkanized France looks so pretty. You think so? I think it looks absolutely disgusting. <laughs> but I mean, each to their own, I suppose. What's the negative, negative diplo points we can get? Negative 999. And then we can't piece anything out anymore. So, it's actually becoming a bit of a problem. We have Savoy and uh, Thingy Mill access, so we should cancel this. Yes. What? I'm at war with you! Okay, so we could peace out, but now we're really close to piecing out a Savoy, so I may as well keep that going. It's just gonna play the same songs over and over again. Let's get back to Divinity. Yeah, and I guess we could go, like, occupy some more of Savoy. Uh, although I would like to bring the cannons over to Chambieri. Are you gonna go ahead now? I think he's gonna... Okay, no, he's fine. That's all reason, it's supposed to look disgusting, that's what makes it pretty. Ah, I see. That makes sense. In some sort of way, I'm sure. Yeah, so we had six cannons over here, and now we'll have four. You guys can go do this. And then we can make him an old siege with France, who's gotten haven't hasn't gotten any new allies. And then we're gonna march an army over to Friesland. Okay, we can't. What about this one? Yeah, we can march you over to Friesland. Because I will want to white piece him. He's also allied to... Is he allied to anything outside of the HRE? No, he's not. So we'll just have to fight the HRE again. Do I like... If you like the previous songs, have you tried Pelo de Enbond? I don't know if I'm even allowed to play those songs. So maybe we should keep it at a minimum. Because they're probably copyright protected. Although they are... 600 years old! It doesn't matter, um, because the recording is probably not 600 years old, so, um, it might still be copyright protected. Try the French anthem about onions. It, that might also be copyright protected. There is anthems, but they are an epidemic sound, so we, if we play anthems, we usually play those. We can cancel France here and take some of his money, please. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. I hate it when this happens. Like, you've seized down this capital, you got 57% war score, and then they still don't want to give you what you what you deserve. The recording is probably... It's probably not 600 years old. Yeah, probably not. Pro 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 probably not. There's a chance that it's not 600 years old. What is the oldest recording in human history? Uh... Yeah, what is the oldest recording in human history? Like, audio recording. Uh, actually, it's 4,000 before Christ, because it's when we did writing. Uh, yeah, I'm already going to ask these mill exercises. I can't walk there yet. Alexander Graham Bell. 9th of April, 1860. Alright. He recorded himself talking to his assistant. assistant. No. 9th of April, 1860. 150 years ago, Edward Leon Scott de Martinville created the first... Sub recording in history. There you go. 1860. I want max money. You fuck. You will give me this. Okay, he will give me this. Moment to teach with France and some money. Let's go. And then from the Pope, I want uh, you to return this. Which is gonna cost me some stuff, but that's fine. And just give me your money. And I guess the war rep. Trade power, perhaps? Nah, no, we don't need that. Alright, fantastic. So now we can go fight France for Reconquest. Oh!
All right, the most expensive one is probably going to be main. Or Montpellier. Um, well, Montpellier is a lot closer, so we'll declare for Montpellier. Yeah. So, and then we can probably just piece them out. I guess I'll part march an army over to uh, Hamburg somehow. We'll need to ask more male accesses. Uh And what I'll want to do is fabricate a claim on Friesland. Just in case. Oh, wait, we already have a claim. Yeah, I'm going to need another one. And then we're going to need a claim on Hamburg. So we need to fabricate a claim on Friesland here. That's very important. Also, we can stop doing this now. Don't forget Nant next time you peace out. Oh yeah, we could have returned that already. Uh, well, it's a bit of a shame. I'll, I, I'll, I won't forget about it. Uh, yeah, let me just ask that mill access. And this one. And that one. Okay, so we can march that way now and we should build up a spy network here. And also on Hamburg itself. There we go. And once we've uh, hit that destination, we can uh, fix our crap. Alright, so you guys head over there. Uh, once you're done here, you can go chase after the French. That's fine. Bumping into the uh, Hamburgans, which is great for us. And we can cancel the Milexus Seas as we go along now. Also, we need to cancel Savoy. Is my dip situation normal for this try, or is something go wrong? No, it's uh, normal. This is completely as intended. Although, what would have been cool is having uh, either Diplo or Espionage beforehand. If we'd grabbed Espionage, we would have gotten an, a bunch of extra vassals in the HRE. Um, but... It is what it is. I guess we got that for free by getting the paper controller. Because if you really want to game it, you could get paper controller more. You could get more paper controller. But oh, I actually almost accidentally stack wiped this army. Wait, you can stop moving. S stop it. Stop. Mo yeah, go that way. Because I have to re-ask this access to stop the these. Also, you guys can make your way over to Utpatois. Gotta show the diplomat mode real quick. Here you go. Pretty pog France, if I do say so myself. A little uh, Western HRE. West Francia rebuilt. Uh, let me go and cancel these mill accesses. Bremen? Yep. Uh, anything else? Friesland, Utrecht, Gelre. No! Sad. Well, I'm not going to bird for that, but that is kind of sad. Uh, Friesland is the last one that we can cancel, yeah? Yeah, Friesland. And can we white piece... You what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> I guess it's because we're not technically blockading him, but... His enthusiasm was 30 because of the um, naval battle. Um, yeah, could grab that. Don't really see the point in doing that, though. So I'm just gonna not do that right now. We're gonna try snaking our way over to Hamburg. Like this. Because we're really fucking clever. Alright, so now get to Helagaland Blight. I don't. We're not gonna have enough boat power, actually, so it doesn't really matter. No. No, it doesn't really matter. Do I like binge chilling? Bing chilling? Bing, bing shilling? 
I... Sure. It says this is 70%. Find that kind of hard to believe. It's not like we can get an Admiral, so yeah, this is not gonna work. Bing shilling. Yes, I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what this is. I'm a boomer. Don't, don't laugh at me. Is this one, is this about this, uh, negative 999 social credit score? I have actually zero idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna Google this. It's the Chinese word for ice cream. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, Urban Dictionary, you're really letting me down here. Chinese word for ice cream. That is not the whole story though, right? Because, well, whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Uh, we got Nab Nabon. Uh, let's go over there. Social credit score is what Chinese implemented to make their people be model citizens. I know about that. I don't know what that has to do with ice cream. Uh, but sure. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that drops my social credit even further. Oh, man. You scream, you scream. I scream, you scream. I scream. I scream is sugar and lowers your score. John Cena did an ice cream ad in Mandarin and it went viral. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't want this guy to leave. So I'm gonna fire him. And get him back. We can't cancel any mail access, right? No. Losing 11 dip a month because of over crap. I really need to hurry up with winning. Because the longer this takes, the more dip we lose. Which is very bad. And I can't fix my dip because we have a zero dip ruler. I'm also 46 years old. You need to peace out, Hamburg. I don't have time for this. Alright, we got Santong. Let's remember the main. Now, it might have been better to do this with slightly less vassals. Some of these are kind of pointless, like Uvern. Ah, uh, we could grab this. I don't know. Not less vassals, it's fewer vassals. Yeah, sorry. I am not from the British Peninsula. Okay, seriously, Hamburg, what the fuck? I should build a navy next time. Okay, we got Oupatois. Or Poitou, excusez-moi. French is not my native language. Peninsula, yeah, someone else mentioned this earlier. This is a callback to the thing that the other guy said. Don't beat me up. <laughs> Don't put me in the dungeon, please. This is a reference to a joke that somebody else made earlier. I am aware that Britain is in the peninsula. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, uh, we can... <laughs> How much do I need? One more month. Okay, so we can't actually peace out until that happens anyway. We can stop paying for our army though, which is nice. And we'll need a new war. Uh, yeah, we'll need a new war. I guess we could go fight Bar. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We can fight Bar and vassalize them. That's good. Or actually, I think I'll full annex him. Yeah, I think I'll full annex Bar and then spit him out. Because if we full annex him and then spit him out, we don't have to pay the dip. It is more uh, AE though, so we'll have to see if we can get away with that. But certainly we're going to declare that war. Needle Shark, thank you for gifting us up to Retro MG. The, 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 M, 
MG the 12th. Bad after you, sir. Stopped. Go to a province with cameras sometimes flying up to the Arctic. Best patch ever. Oh, that is nice. That is a nice upgrade. Chat, what do you think? The paradox starts redeeming ourselves with the bug fixes and origins. I, yeah, you can ask chat. That, my answer has been clear. I think they've already done that, but that's just me. The moment they fixed the save game bug, I was really excited. So, all right, cool. Uh, we can peace out Hamburg. Um, do that, and then fabricate on Hamburg, and we can peace out France now as well. This is really problematic. All right, uh, so Montpellier will go to Toulouse. And th that dropped my war score, see? Did you see that? Did you see that? It dropped my war score. Look, look. Why, why does that happen? Isn't that odd? Alright, uh, anyway. How much war score are you? Hold on, one second, guys. Welcome back, guys. Also, hey, hi there, kitty. How you doing? Release something from France? No, no, no. We don't. We're not in the business of releasing anything. Also, that would cost me even more dip. I guess we could take Chatre and give it to something else, someone else. This should already be enough, though. I shouldn't need to take anything else. Yeah, because we're getting a discount for all these provinces, so he should be below 100%. And we can fight him again after 11 years. And by that time, we'll be 58. That's kind of pushing it, though, isn't it? He's not my rival. Take Satra just in case. That, that we don't need to do that. Now hopefully we can fight Hamburg. That's his only ally. So then, if we fight Hamburg, we can fight him in ninety-one. So I can't really shorten the truce much more below this. Eighty-eight percent. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. And I've got perma claims on this land as well, so we can give uh, Brittany Nantes now. Is Hamburg a free city? That's irrelevant. We have to fight the emperor anyway. But yes. All right. You can have Nantes. Good. Okay. So now all we need to do is fight France and uh, be ready. Yes. Okay, good. Um, hmm. Problem is the dip, though. That's really a big issue. Um, okay, we'll send an insult over to Bar. Tell Provence to steer trade. I didn't do that? Oh, yes. Also, I should probably yoink his development. Yeah. And this? Okay, we can't. 
Fight rival for 100 dip. Let's see. I'm losing two a month. So in 92, how much will how much negatives will I have? Shit. We might actually be in trouble. Can I join Britney Dev? Yeah. Negative 720. 700 more or less. Well, the thing is, vassalizing France is going to be 200, so we'd have to die really quickly inside of the war. Or fix our dip. Yeah, so the only thing we really need is to not have our ruler die. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. This is fine. Yeah, okay. Don't you need Colin as well? What? Uh, I need many things, but uh, that's beside the point. What I need now is to just kill France. Uh, w if we ally something that we can fight right away, then we will do it. I need to go send a scornful insult to this dude. So that we can go fight him for Barwan for Don. Don, Don. And we might want to release that as a vast after taking it. Or just to vassalize him straight up. Vassalizing him straight up will be less war score, so... I can maybe get away with that. Also, I don't need to pay for the inflation guy anymore. Let's get rid of him. So, yeah. Uh, if we die before uh, piecing out France, then we'll have to birth. But you guys know this. So Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go fight for Barois, I suppose. Uh, they're allied to Brandenburg, who has yeah the same allies as before. It should be easy war. Let's go. Maybe keep the land for the mission? Do we need to like own it directly? Oh yeah, I need to own it directly. I guess we'll take it and then uh, press the button. Yeah, yeah, we'll take it and press the button. That's fine. We'll take it, press the button, and then release him as a vassal. I could also just it, take it. Just take it, take it, because I'm taking it anyway. So I guess I'll just take it, take it. That's fine. You could also get Sweden and Norway from Denmark. No. No, that wouldn't work. Sweden and Norway would not work. Uh, I do need to bring my cannons over to Vorbon. Or, but actually, no. I'm going to tell those guys to go over to uh, Berlin. And you're just going to have a good old fun time sieging that down. Have you attached to the Dutch? And march straight into Berlin. That's fine. There's no mill axes I can cancel, right? No. And we need to take our time with this war. Because I'll have to declare war on something else. I guess we could fight Liege. Um, and get another vassal that way, maybe. Thing is, we can't really do that. No, no, they, I don't think we should get any more vassals because of our dip. It's a bit awkward. Yeah, I need direct control. Wait, Lorraine? Oh, okay, so it doesn't really matter. No. No, it doesn't really matter. I did see that uh, that post. Very impressive. All right, cool. Berlin is burning. Atero Dominatus. Uh, what is this agenda that's about to expire? Oh, improving relations with Morocco. Right, I completely forgot to do that. Uh, well, I'll have to send our scornful insult to Portugal, and then we'll be good. Oh, that gives us a level three guy that's cheaper to maintain. Is he also the correct? Ah, he is. Cool. Very nice. Yeah, definitely. Oh God, that was an expensive joke. Yikes. Okay. 
It was a very expensive joke. Let's get some money. And we'll get some money from this war as well, so I think it'll be good. Don't forget that you can't doubt someone else in the Empire whilst you're with the Emperor. Yeah, we can always doubt England, though, in a fake war. Oh, no, we can't. We can always doubt uh, Castile, though, in a fake war. Okay, no, we can't. Who is my rival, anyway? Yeah, England and Denmark. I guess we could go fight Denmark if we really have to. I think might be a better idea to go fight... Aragorn? Oh! Oh yeah, sure, we'll, yeah, we'll do that. Apparently they've got Roussillon as a core. Really? When does that run out? Dude, I never knew this. Huh. Interesting, okay. I guess I should have known that, but. What's the plan with the vassals? Well, nom nom nom, obviously. Okay, Verdun has been sieged down. I guess we can go somewhere else. Berlin is taking a sweet ass time. And uh, Brandenburg is actually going to be very difficult to piece out because of the way it works. We could get... Uh, uh, free war taxes is nice, I suppose. Save a little bit of money here. Yeah, I don't want to fight another prince, though. I don't think. I just kind of want to do my France thing. Alright, we got Berlin. Okay, and I hope that occupying all of this is going to do... Enough to like piece him out. I mean, it should be like a hundred percent war score, so I don't expect him to be a douche about this whole thing. But you never know. With the, the emperor, emperor is really weird because he gets plus fifty reasons to be part of the war. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yoink Naples. Huh? Naples. No. Naples is in French. So I don't want to do that. Uh, there's... Oh, how does that work? So I need to give him Corsica? Yeah, I need to give him Corsica and another 20 dev. And then we could do that. Uh, a Corsica or a 100 dev. Uh huh. Okay. Problem is, I can't really give him anything. One of the following. I can't read. <laughs> also, these missions are just impossible to read. I don't... <laughs> okay, Corsica or 100 Dev. One of the following must be two. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. It's a shame I'd already pressed the button to uh, exploit his development, because if I hadn't done that, he would have already been very close. Not Nothing I can really do about it, though, except uh, conquer Corsica for him. Uh, but we can't do that, because... Threaten for Corsica? Yeah, but I don't have a CB. I guess if we fight Aragon, he's allied to Hungary, which if we set him as go belligerent, we might be able to take Genoa, or Corsica from Genoa. And then just grant it over to Provence.
I mean, it'll give us something to do because uh, we need to wait until 91 anyway before we can fight France again. There's no point trying to reduce the truce if it's only uh, 10 years because there's not much you can do unless you can immediately do it, which we couldn't. All right, we'll do that. And uh, we might go for Naples. I don't know. Like, this guy is still under a union on the Aragon, so there's not really a point. Um, no, there's not really a point going that far, actually. So forget about it. We're not going to do it. All right. Um, yeah, just give me this, your trade power, your war app, and you wouldn't even give me this. Wow. Wow. All right, annoy cheese with Volgas then, I suppose. How much are you willing to give me? 45%. Crazy. Madness. Um, yes, we do need to deal with all the other idiots. Uh, what else am I worth? Nassau? Playing Hoi for Holland falls in a day, always falls in a day or so, and then Japs come back and fall again. So much fun. You can give him your cores back in the same way you can give your core back from Aragon. It's perfect. But does he get cores? He gets perma claims, doesn't he? Yeah, he gets claims. No, he gets cores! What? Yeah, this is on Sicily. No, 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 he gets cores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, oh, yeah, no, okay, we will do that. Never mind, we will. We are gonna do it. Because we can do it in the same war, so it's actually perfect. Thank you, Freddy Brown. You're really compensating for my terrible reading. This is very nice. The real MVP, ladies and gentlemen. Because uh, I almost gave up on it. He gets cores because he owned the land until 1443. All right, I see. Alright, so we just give Corsica- yeah, no, it's actually perfect then. It's actually really perfect, wow. Let's maybe get the unrest guy so that pop-up goes away. We are not dealing with Nassau anymore. What's this? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, and uh, like I said, again, if a ruler dies, we have to... Just bird, unfortunately. Okay, give me this trade power and the money. Also, I never checked. But shouldn't it make more money if we did this now? Holy French Empire? Something like that. It's cores because Provence is a subject. Otherwise, it'd be restoration of the union. Oh, sick. So this is actually perfect, then. I ah, forget about that. I want to go fight that... Uh, Genoan war. Wait, but I'd have to land on Corsica, though. That's a problem. Because if I want to give this to him, I need to peace out. So I have to... Shit. He's gonna give it to me, but then I won't be able to- Provence needs to own it for me to get the cores. Yeah, I can set it as vital, but... Even if he claims it, I won't be able to make him land there. I need to just land on it.
I guess we try and build heavies. But navy wise, we're on tech three. I suppose they haven't probably haven't gotten their naval increase. So if we want to guarantee we land that we spend 450 dockers. We also don't have enough semen to build more. Even if we did, we don't have enough coastal provinces. No, I accidentally deleted the thing. Also, no, I haven't pronounced my title. Uh. Exploit death for semen. Well, even if I did, I wouldn't be able to build it anymore. Um, it's like... Oh, crap. This is an expensive joke. Do I want to grab it back? I kind of do, because this war exhaustion is kind of iffy. So... Yeah, we'll go grab it back. So we're almost out of money now. Are you really gonna fight more Epirus? Really? Uh how much money do we lose a month? Eight. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, so much for getting money out of this war. Uh grab a bag? I don't know. What? Why not Galliasa since it'll be an inland sea battle? You can go over the limit. Because we are limited by the amount of sailors that we have, and galleys are less efficient uh, in terms of power, in terms of, in, in sailor count. And also, the I only have nine provinces to build properly, because these ones have um, so much unrest or whatever that uh, the time to build the boats is really long. And so, we can't afford to wait for that. So it's an issue of sailors and available provinces where I can build it. And that's why we flip that around. Okay. But yeah, if we're gonna try to do a, a, re a record run for fastest world conquest, which, trust me, would be incredibly boring to watch, but we might give it a shot at one point, because we've never tried. Uh, first of all, we require us to play on normal, which we don't usually do. But you know, we could we could make an exception to try and uh, do that. But it's a lot of micro. Uh, to put it into perspective, you would play, and you can play like six hours and pass like half a year if you're gonna try for it. So. It'll be very slow, but you know, we could make uh, we could try it once, I suppose. But if we're gonna do that, we would we're gonna do it in the next patch, because of reasons. Speaking of Michael, did you see the Vicky Three Dev Diary on Warfare? I have not. I have not been following the Vicky Dev Diaries at all. Bean spilled. Well, I mean, it's in the patch notes, right? A, E, O, E, all reduced. So, I'm pretty sure in the next patch, the same guy who did the World Conquest now would be able to do a better time uh, in the new patch, for sure. Because war score has been reduced, and so has A, E. And they haven't added any new provinces. So, right? Pretty sure they weren't going to add new provinces. Alright, we can peace out uh, Nassau. Uh, let's do this. Get that done. Goslar. Yeah, 
Yeah, Marco's ROM, I mean, I, it's not invalid, of course, but no one's ever gonna beat that, because, um... Yeah, he used Kyoto Engine, so... That's infinite Monarch points. Which means infinite money, and infinite manpower, and infinite everything. So then... I don't- I don't, don't want to say it's invalid, and of course it isn't, but there is a distinct difference between that one and other speedruns. Um... Yeah, no. It's just that. And of course they use exploits in the other speedruns, and obviously every exploit would be allowed. But it's on a different, uh... different... I don't know. It's like, um... It's like comparing a... Uh, cycling world record with a running world record. It's not the same thing. You're not using the same vehicle, as it were. So, all right. Uh, let me go take a look. A uh, yeah. I'm sitting down all of these guys. Seems good. What is the exploit about? So you would be able to seize. Like, uh, so okay. So you know Japan, right? How, when you take Kyoto, you get 50 Monarch points of every type. So... And back then, the amount of Liberty Desire from paying back loans was not capped. So if you got to... Or it was capped at like negative a thousand or something. But the Liberty Desire from seizing was also capped at a thousand. So if you would, um... If you seize the province... The maximum liberty desire would be like a thousand or something like that. And you could compensate for that by paying off their loans. So what you would do is you would like fight China and the, or not, just make sure that Japan or the whoever owned Kyoto would have a negative like 2000 liberty desire from paying back loans. And then you'd be able to seize Kyoto from him, which would give you 50 monarch points of every type. Give it back to him, seize it again, give it back to him, seize it again. And he would never get uh, Liberty Desire higher than uh, 0%, so you would always be able to uh, do that, and you'd have infinite monarch points. And you can do it an infinite amount of time, so you have infinite monarch points. You can even do it during... No, you can't do it during war, so you do have to be at peace. So there is a limit, I guess. Uh, but yeah, you'd have infinite monarch points, and uh, in doing so, because you could also dev, so you'd also have infinite, infinite uh, money and all of that. So. Okay, um, let's see here. We could. I'm missing one of them, right? Or are they all like next to each other? Okay, they're all like next to each other. Okay, good. Well, we can go get ready to go fight Aragon, although I kind of want to wait for my boats now, right? Yeah, I kind of want to wait for my boats. Let's get this guy into a port, because I don't think we can try landing on him now. That said, he is there. Um, uh, Really, all I need to land that with, like, 1k. That's probably not going to work. You get 20 prestige as well. I did Kyoto Engine, Ryukyu, World Conquest, One Faith, One Culture. Okay, so yeah, you also have infinite prestige, I suppose. So yeah, uh, it's like a different... I think I, I think I described it well when I say it's comparing a cycling race to a uh, running, like a runner. Actually, maybe not that bad. Maybe it's more like swimming versus running. You know? Swimming 100 meters versus running 100 meters. Because it's not that big of a difference. It's just... When you're swimming, you run into resistance. And when you're running on the land, you're running into less resistance. I suppose. Okay. Uh, we can piece this guy out, get a little bit of cash. And our economy is purely cash-based at this point, so... Or, uh, peace deal based. It's kind of like everyone else is riding a bicycle, and at the start of the race, you pulled a motor out of your backpack and strapped it to your bicycle. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's like that. You're r riding on an e-bike, maybe. If an e-bike, you beat capped in terms of speed, because of restrictions. But... 
Ah, uh, whatever. Yeah, we could just grab this. It's fine. Nobody else cares. So let's just take this for ourselves. Otherwise, we have to spend dip. So also now we can do the uh, Provence thing, right? Or the Joan of Arc thing. What? Okay. So I guess we need paper controller. Wow, that is a really big shame that the Pope died then. Yeah, that is really sad. I oh fuck a duck in the cock. We might be able to do it right now because Provence is right there. So yeah, okay. Let's go fight this. That. Let's do it. I don't have a diplomat. In for penny, in for pounding. Eat a paper or a hundred? I really need to learn how to read. Yeah, eat a paper or a hundred. Okay, fate of John of Arc. Let's do it. The mother of Joan of Arc, with the support of Burgundy, has petitioned His Holiness to order an inquiry on her daughter's trial. An inquisition meticulously examined in 1431, the trial and after numerous hearings cleared her of all charges. Joan of Arc is now considered a martyr of the Catholic Church and her judge has been declared a heretic. Okay. So, we said that she's not... A witch. And that gave me 10 prestige. And now after 200 years I get a cookie? I don't... I don't... What the... I, let, let's find out. Only I get a cookie. Oh, well, what the fuck did we do? Okay, well, it's fine. Only I, Okay, we'll just release and play as only on and get the cookie. Can, so Orléans can also do it, then? Or can only Burgundy do it and then Orléans will have to- uh, I don't... We're gonna declare this war, is what we're gonna do. No, wait, I'm gonna wait. Till this guy gets it too long. And you're gonna get Lambda bigger than Flurry. Every French can, no? I don't know, I've not done that button before, so... It's a complete mystery to me. Alright, let's go. I don't suppose she fabricated on this, no. RUN! Don't click Genoa? Why not? I need Corsica. I know, they're gonna stop me. Shit. No, it was worth a shot. When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Alright, we're gonna need to build cogs. Which I don't know if we're gonna be able to do, but I'll also need to build two cogs then. Uh, okay, so in that case, we will try and um, deal with all the other rebels first. So that should be good. Or the other rebels. I'll deal with all the other tags first, yeah. And we have uh, nine years to win this war, so we can we can really take our time with this one. Should be good. Although we are at war with a lot of people now, like this is kind of a big war. How many people is this? Like a hundred k. That's fine. We can fix it. Rebels? What rebels? There's no rebels. What are you talking about? There's no rebels. What? You're a rebel. New rebel, rebel. Negative 10,000 dip speedrun. Yeah, don't worry about it. Right. 
If someone occupies Dauphiné, can I uh, offer to give it to... No. No. And I can't seize it, obviously, because it's... Ooh, this is sexy. I'll do that. I really kind of want to sell my crown lamp. <laughs> need to be very careful with my money supply here. Is there a floor for Diplo points? Yes, it's negative 999 and then you can't demand anything anymore. So we can't get to negative 999 because if we do that, then we die. Uh, a wise man once told me, you look extra submissive and breedable today. Thank you, Lord Link 77 Tip man of the use here. Happy baby. I, I guess we are very breedable. Um, did the trick happen yet, chat? No, you'll know if we do it. You'll know if we do it. I, this sucks, but I don't want to lose a stab right now. So. Or you'll know when we've done it, I suppose. Would be a better way to word things. So, Aragorn knows that the only way we ever lose the war is if we ever build a navy. And so he's landing an army in this to be a dick. That is very nice of you. I love it. Okay, cool. Uh, fantastic. Does that allow me to piece you out? Uh, it does, but I kind of want to take his money because we're run running really low right now. So we'll try and split up a little bit and do a bit of carpeting. Why not give Promant's other clay? He needs 19 dev. Well, first of all, I'd have to find that 19 dev somewhere. Now, I guess I could feed him Savoy, but Savoy is not a co-belligerent. I could feed him these two provinces. How much land would that be? This would be, what, 39 dev? Would that be enough? Aside from the fact that, that would grate me a coalition the size of the moon. He needs 34. So that, in an alternate world, that would work. But that is a lot of aggressive expansion, and I don't think I want to deal with that. So. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm pretty sure I don't want to deal with that. They actually liberated this, which is kind of an ass. Uh, it is what it is, though. Okay, so we're dealing with this. I can't really move this around. Can we tell you to sit here? I could, but... Not something I want to do. Why can't you take Corsica directly and then wait until you have a day's peace? Well, because if I'm declaring a reconquest war now. So now I can return Roussillon to Toulouse. And if I separate peace Genoa and give Corsica to Provence, then Provence will finish this mission. And then Provence will get cores on all of Italy or ne Neapolitan Italy, and then during the same war against Aragon, I can tell him to return this land using this for zero dip and lowered aggressive expansion. I can return all of Southern Italy to Provence in the same war. So I don't need to declare another one and we don't have to fight Aragon twice because right now we're declaring a reconquest for only Roussillon and now I can do all of that in the same peace deal. So that'd be the most optimal way to spend my time. But I will need to give him Corsica. Aragon is in Holland. I'm aware. I've been... But I can't teleport my units. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go do this. Burn that and peace this guy out. I want your money. And he will be willing to give me this. Can you also give me the war up, please? Oh, come on, you silly Billy. Give me the war. Are you damn the war? It's such a meanie. Give me my money. It's such a meanie, really. What about now? Can you now give me a little bit? Oh, we, we never occupied Geneva. How about how about some more? How about some more? Huh? How about some? Yeah, there you go. There you go. That's a good. Oh, crap. Now we're no longer not the controller, so we're going to die here unless we use. Ah, the maneuver, dude. All right, there we go. Cool beans. Are we gonna arrive here at the same day? We're not, so let's try and fix this. Why are we not arriving on the same day? Right, we need to attach everyone to the Dutch. Are you going to arrive on the same day? Says he is. I don't believe him, but sure. Well, head north then, because I need to save my boat construction. So I will need to somehow try and land on Corsica. I don't know how we're going to pull that out of the hat. I need to sneeze.
Yeah. Okay. So, uh, let's head north here. And deal with that. Woo! Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Let me just head over to Brabant. You can pillage capital Devon to Provence in peace deals. Ah, uh, yeah. But that, again, gives a... I don't think I want to do that. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to do that. So we'll be 58. Uh, I don't think we're going to die. Uh, and right now our life expectancy, because we're already uh, 50, is actually like 65. Now that's a bit complicated statistics. Uh, I can check actually what my life expectancy is now that we're 50. Uh, you four ruler death chance. Our death chance is about to increase because we're about to become 51. Where, where is this again? Uh, 51 to 60 is a 3.2 yearly death chance. Uh, so yeah, our life expectancy is 65.4. So I should make it. I should make it. Uh, and then once we're 60, our life expectancy is going to be like 69, I believe. Something like that. But yeah. Theoretically speaking, we should make it. We should be allowed to live. Nair, thank you for some 45 months in a row. Tip matter to you, sir. Like, purely from a chance-based perspective, we should make it. I guess we're gonna go deal with Hungary, but I did need to deal with this shit because they were gonna cancel my boats, which is unacceptable. Alright, so who is not attached to this? No one. Alright, let's just make our way over to Hungary. Maybe peace out the planet along the way. Yeah, because uh, Hungary has, like, the most, the biggest army in this. 42k. 11. Yeah, they got, like, a, a thousand units, so we probably want to go deal with that. No, you can't transfer that while you're at war. Uh, I can build some more cogs, just to be able to build them. We're building six heavies, yeah, that's not gonna be a lot. But maybe we can like, troll something? I don't know. We could also march down, and this guy is completely fucking broken because he's a merc company. I, I, I'm just not going to attach them and just tell them to go somewhere, and then once they are in the position, we can move them later. To get them to move properly. Uh, could you guys just do whatever you want to do? Just go, go do whatever. Maybe get like an occupation somewhere or something. Alrighty, 69. Sweet. Uh, Lorraine is not stating before. I guess we could concentrate the development. I mean, there's no real point doing that, I guess. It's not like we needed uh, this. Apparently that means we've eclipsed England. Okay. So. The Routier need to be attached. I guess we need to attach everyone to the Routier. Probably. Yeah, our morale has seen better days. Because most of the morale bonuses ran out. So now it's only 4.8. And uh, Aragon is sitting there with 32k. Yikes. Um, I could try rolling for a morale guy to at least go back to 5 morale. Which is still really high. It's just... You know, not as great as it was. Yeah, sure. We can reset this. And then uh, try moving over to Hungary. Hey, there's a discipline guy. Uh, that's too expensive. But, so let's just go. Oh man, he's got a lot of reinforcements on the way. Uh, are you actually gonna help out? Also, gonna keep rolling for this. Okay, they will help out, but this is this was really spooky actually. Alright, um, and we'll just march over to best, that's fine. <coughs> When Foy says no birding, he means no bird mana. No, I actually mean no birding, but we've disabled that. 
I guess we can see the Rotier as like a scout. So he just scouts ahead for us. We'll see it like that. And because we're base racing, I guess the fourth defense guy is more more useful than anything else. So, yeah, we, ha we have a little forward scout now. See, this is not a broken... This is just a new feature, guys. This is just a new feature. If you get a, manu um, a mercenary with six maneuver, that just means that you have a free scout. Look how cool this is. This is like EU5 territory right here. Sending an army out ahead to spot any... See? We, we saw this coming. And now we get a 10 to 1 wipe because he scouted ahead. And is there an army in past? Now we know that there's no one in past. Look at that. <laughs> okay, this is really shit. Wait, again? Uh, sure, okay, fine. If you want it that badly, I'll do it. So how happy is Hungary about the war? 50. Okay, we're gonna need to... After seizing on past, we're gonna need to do a lot of carpeting and maybe some more damage. Uh, I could tell these to split up. We'll try an already carpet. I don't... I think he's gonna try stopping us, though. I would assume. But let's just try getting some random sieges here. Yeah, and he starts the siege early, so that now... Uh... They'll have to wait three less days. Oh god, what's happening? Uh, what? Okay, he's fighting Aperus. Okay, I was about to say. Uh, Altus is still fighting Aperus. Music? Uh, the music is Assassin's Creed Black Flag, but I can change it. If you want me to. Hungary is always really awkward because how many forts they have. They have got so many forts. Because we can get to Vizaki still. Uh, Pizza Bro's real. Thank you so much for eight months in a row, man. Tip matters to you, sir. More like there wasn't any music playing. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that was a low play song or something. Or a low volume song. Because it was playing, but maybe just too low volume. Actually, don't like that starting song. Okie dokie, he's chasing after my dudes. Uh, I'm gonna try scorching this and walking around. Also, we should be able to grab this tech soon, but we can also grab more of this. Get that fort defense. It's kind of useful, actually. How is my boats doing? Okay, we've got a couple. Is there a plan to get out of the Diplo debt? I mean, we only have 475, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, look at that. You know how we're gonna get out of the Diplo Death uh, hole? We're gonna import some naval supplies. There you go. 60 dip. In my belly. May as well grab this now. Now what's gonna be our next idea? <laughs> Diplo. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Maybe religious? I can't really think of anything. Humanist? They could just be boring and pick Atman, I guess. It syncs nicely with this crap, so maybe Atman is nice, because... 
yeah, let's let's pick Atman, but not for the CCR, but for the Merc crap, right? Because we're Burgundy, so we should use Mercs. Expansion would let you take another Vassal. Oh, right. Admin again. Safe choice. Safe choice? Shit. Okay. Safe choice. Fine. I'll pick Exploration. Jesus Christ. Safe choice. Safe choice. My god, I guess we should declare bankruptcy, because that, that'll be dangerous. Okay, uh, could you finish the siege instead of needing to go to 99%? Because uh, I'm pretty sure at this point half of France will be occupied. You hear my influence and bribe my real life money to stop listening to chat. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, cool. We got pest. Uh... He still doesn't want to accept peace. I don't think we should fight him for money. Because Hungary is really difficult to get war score on. Uh, which I guess would be the safe choice to do. <laughs> uh, let's try splitting up a little bit. And I can't really get much more war score on him. Not really. Like this is He's already gotten all of this occupied because the siege needed to go to 99%. Um... I'm just gonna split out a little bit. Go admin? I don't know what to go for. It doesn't really matter what we go for. We can pretty much pick anything. Maybe we'll do a poll. But we don't really need anything. I don't need to core land or whatever. Um. Okay. There's not much else we can really go for. Uh. Okay. Will you try and stop me if I do this? Please don't. Oh crap! He will. Ah, uh, that's fine. We can still save this. Uh, anywhere else we can walk? No. Only mill ideas, Ron? Yeah. Uh, pick a... I'll pick a Diplo idea. So we don't have to pick anything for... Foreseeable future. I mean, getting in it will be actually be kind of nice to catch back up in uh, Diplo tech. Uh, if we stack some tech bonus... Because our... Uh, neighbor bonus is going to go to like 50%. So I guess we could pick Inno. We also go religious flip Protestant, and then we can use the reduced AE on this crap. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. Oh, nice! Brabham's actually sieging on Theodoro. That's very convenient. Alright, let's see. Inno, resident sleeper. Well, which idea wouldn't be resident sleeper in admin? Eco is about devving. Inno is about teching. Religious is about fixing your country. I don't... There is no hardcore... It's an admin idea group. <laughs> I guess we could pick expansion and go into fucking Siberia. But which one of these is... In fact, admin would be the most of one because you can core more land faster but I guess expansion is the most adventurous of the of the five what is it? how many six <laughs> humanism let's be nice to everyone <laughs> oh man oh okay Let's <laughs> Hungry, what the fuck, dude? We've got 23 war score on him. Wait, no, I got 27. Uh, yeah, I can piece him out. Oh, this is so much money, though. Let's try and getting a little bit more.
Why do you even pick ideas at all? Yeah, man! Why even breathe? It's so boring. Much more exciting to hold your breath! <laughs> oh boy. Um. Yeah, I'll try and lower his enthusiasm a little bit more. Because there's a bunch of easy pickings for us to get as far as that goes. Okay, and how is my... We've got four cogs, which is good enough. I guess we can try building some more heavies in case we need to, but I don't think it's gonna work, really. What? Oh, I guess they ran out of garrison? Hold on, stop the count. Did they run out of garrison? Because it was negative seven, right? Probably. I, I was pretty sure it was like negative 50 or something. So I guess they ran, we ran out of garrison. Shit. Well, I can fix that. But that is really ass. Maybe your ruler will die and you can burn it. <laughs> yeah, as if. As if. I, I'm also gonna start to make my way back. Oh, you fuck. You little shit. Okay, well, hold on. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Go that way, please. How much garrison is there in here now? 220. Oh, come on! Seriously? Are you now all moving or are you. Never mind. If I ever consider picking Admin again, because we want to play with mercenaries, I'm I'm not even I'm not I'm, here. This, this. Get these mercs out of my face! Disgusting pieces of shit. Okay. Burn it. And we need to wait for the infantry to walk in. Let's try to reorganize this. Attach it all to the Flemish company. <sighs> yeah, okay, great. <laughs> I wonder why that happened. What did we do? Why did it crash? I, I wonder. Burgundy of inheritance event just fired. Yeah. Where is the trick? We are waiting for the trick. Please, where is the trick? Oh my god, this is taking forever. Why do you have negative 500 dip? Mm hmm. I be oh my god, kitty, what's wrong? Here's my cat. Do you see my cat? I don't actually know if you can see my cat. Now you go, oh sweet little kitty, oh kitty, kitty so sweet. Oh, life entertainment, oh look at kitty, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kitty, kitty, oh. See, we're not birding, we're catting. That's what we're doing. This is still no birds, this is catting. That's what this is. Meow. Meow. Oh, for your licht streak, you give it out. Here, shoot to the rest of the gangs. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, I'm a cat. I, I should really stop talking like this. 
Do you think to the camera, Kitty? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. That's very cute. Yeah. Yeah, it's very cute. Hey, Kitty's getting up. Alright, fantastic. Nice wood chip wallpaper. Got the same wood chip wallpaper? No? Wood chip wallpaper? I don't. No? Do we, can we get, get some music, please? Why is the music not working? Ah! Fantastic. Alright, continue with the game! Miss gives the subs. Oh, my bad. I couldn't see because uh, I had a kitty in my face. Orfeo, thank you for gifting three subs, man. Tip matter to you, sir. Uh, <coughs> should probably tip three times, right? Tip, 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 and tip. Then again, because we're wearing two hats, you get double the tips. But I guess that's just uh, an extra. Oh, great, great. This is after. See, so we didn't burn this. So we didn't burn the siege. Now, what the fuck did we do? Let's unattach everyone, because apparently we're breaking the game. Everyone attached to the Flemish. Oh, what are we doing, Mr. Kitty? Mrs. Kitty? Hello? Uh. Hmm? What's up? Oh, she... It's because of the bell! It's because of the bell on the sing. <laughs> That's why she's constantly looking at me like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> it's because of this <laughs> Alright, well, <laughs> I guess I should have expected that. <laughs> but she was looking at me like, what are you doing? Stop! <laughs> okay, um, poor cat. Uh, let's go attach to the Flemish company. Okay, let me move this. Are you, did that just delete half my army? No, it's working. And you are gonna march into Pest. Okay, everything is fine. But unfortunately, he will kill us. Rip. Okay. Let's keep a move on. Yeah, you guys can go do this, that's fine. Also, we save this, which is nice. Sweet. Everyone's moving in. Kitty confirmed Belgian! I'm good. I'm good. I can't. I can't. <laughs> no, it's not the insult. It's the terrible pun. And um, could you not like suicide into these, please? Come on. Thank you. And I'm exploiting there, but that's not really an exploit. That's just fixing the game. Okay. Um, we can get Nagzor to go assault here. Uh, he only, he's only got 940, but it's 940 to 216. Surely we'll succeed. Uh, I'm only killing five dudes a month. Or a, a tick. How about now? Ten. Hmm. Maybe tell the main army to also move into this. I'm not gonna ban him. Jesus. Hello? Sir Guy Man. This one is practically in, in honor of him. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, this is good. Yeah. So it seems adding more troops to the siege is sometimes useful. 
Okay, now seriously, now we can beat you out though, right? Yeah, we can even take nine, nine more score. Uh, I, I'm not gonna delay this any longer. So, we've dealt with that, now we can go deal with the other crap. Uh, what's happening? Yeah, he's teaching now all of Southern France. That's good though, because we need we need a time. So, uh, who's our next target to peace out? Probably Palatinet, and then we'll do... Well, then... Then we'll go fight over here, and then we'll siege on Genoa, I guess. Yeah, okay. I'll be back in a bit, though. Brrrp. So, I'm so sorry, cat. Sorry, you guys, I have to stop wearing the thing, because the bell is driving her crazy. I don't want to stress out the cats. It's really bad for cats if they get stressed out. I just realized, as I said, it's really bad for cats if they get stressed out. It's bad for every living thing if it gets stressed out, I suppose. That's the whole, because the whole meaning of the word is negative. But I believe for cats, it's like physiologically, like really, really bad, I guess. I don't know. I don't know too much about cat biology, but that's like a thing, right? I'm not crazy, right? I'm not a crazy person. doesn't really help either. It's like catology, right? Catholicism. Oh man, Catholicism is gonna get a big buff in the next patch. But I'm most excited about playing Hindu in the next patch. Which I guess the patch is about West Africa, but I'm most excited about playing Hindu. I can't tell you why. <laughs> Shit. We're talking about the next patch. No talking about the next patch. Next patch is banned. Wait, what? Spoilers leak. Hey, I always said I'm excited about playing Hindu. I didn't say anything else. Um, yeah, selling crawlland is a thing, but we can't do it. And we're losing all of resources. I need to go deal with the plat. Can't I just piece him out? No. Ugh. Ugh. Hey, it's fine. Let's just up the speed as well, because we're not doing anything complicated here. We're just gonna walk into the plat and siege him down. Take his land, his money, his everything. Ooh, attaches to the Flemish. Didn't want the bird accidentally there. One more full annex mechanics is Hindu? No. Uh, we might. I don't know. I, we, we can't talk about it. First rule of Fight Club. Nobody talk about Fight Club. It's a trick, a Jedi mind trick. I haven't really watched Star Wars consciously. I watched it as a kid. 
It's like, ooh, lasers. Uh, but I never really rewatched them. I know, right? I know. Even though I, I did watch a lot of movies, but I don't know, it just doesn't really appeal to me, I guess. Watched The Lord of the Rings like 27 times. I watched The Matrix like 27 times, but no, I've never watched the Star Wars trilogy properly. Uh, El Bison, think of it a bit, man. Tip Matt of Tuesday. Always kitty and can we have a kitty scream? If you go back like 20 minutes, there is a very nice close up of kitty. This is really starting to get bad. Like, he's occupying all of this crap, and I'm gonna need to reseach all of that. <laughs> Might actually end up losing this one. <laughs> That's it. How about the new Dune? I've watched the new Dune. I, li I liked it. I liked it, but I felt like I had to play... Uh, I, I felt like I needed a refresh. I feel like if you haven't read the book or played the game, zzz, uh, it's kind of complicated. But, I mean, you don't need to do that to watch it. But I think it's cool. I think it's a really cool... I think it's also... Not to, like, get into... Uh, it addresses a lot of real-life issues, actually. I guess, in a way. Like, uh, colonialism, imperialism, all that good stuff. It's a very interesting movie. It's cool. I like it. Um, okay, we can do this. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess, are we still building boats? No, this is what we have to work with. There is no way I'm landing on Genoa. Unless I get... Marines! How the fuck would I get Marines? I'd have to find a TC, spend a thousand ducats on making it, and... Man, there's no way I can core that. No. No. Oh my god, don't! <laughs> Unironically pick naval for the Marines. We have a Marie, why not Marines? Ah oui, they are the soldiers of Marie, they are the Marines. Ah, oh, très bien. Très bon? Très bien. Would you, would you say très bon in any situation? No, right? It wouldn't, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't grammatically be correct, I suppose. Why can't I move? Okay, um, we really need to address this situation. Also, I would have to occupy all of Naples. That hungry crap took way too long. We'll have this cleaned up in a jiffy, that's not really a problem. Also, this fort defense thing is useless because he's not sieging down my fort, he's sieging down my vassal's fort. Alright, whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna fight and push them back because there's too many. There's too much crap here. Uh, Theodora will be pieced out manual uh, automatically, and I think my vassals will do some unseaging if we just clear this out. So we'll start fighting back, I guess, and maybe try and siege down Genoa. Actually, we should try and siege down Genoa and then just land on Corsica. Maybe we can try. I guess it's our best bet, I suppose. And there's the morale of armies guy back, so let's go get him. 
You say très bon when you have one and a half bonbons in Spain. <laughs> okay, there you go. We now we know when to say très bon. It looks like he has a lot of stuff occupied, but it's really two forts and some capital crap. So it, it's fine. So this is woods. Hello? Yeah. A bientôt. Yeah, I'm just gonna siege down to Noah. And then we'll try landing on him. I think it's fine. Uh, we're only losing like two dockets a month, so we could also expand the military, and I think we might want to do that. Our army's getting really small right now. So, let's expand the military a little bit. Hi, I think I found an old picture of you with Hermann and Bleiker. Where the fuck did you get that? Uh, yeah, that, that I that might that might be true. What? Ha, what? <laughs> what? So my boss at the restaurant, he guessed the exact weight of a ham. And he won a meet and greet with Herman de Blijker, which is a famous Dutch chef, I suppose. And he came to our restaurant, and uh, there's a picture of me with him. That dude is a gigantic man. He is... He's like five meters tall and three meters wide. That dude is a giant. If it was CK3, he would have the giant trait. That man is humongous. He's not even, he's not even, like, he's not even fat or anything. He's just, he's just huge. <laughs> he is an actual unit. Super nice guy, though. Super nice guy. He was a lot nicer than I thought he was going to be. I thought he was going to be, like, really scary or intimidating. I mean, I guess his size made him intimidating. But he's a big friendly giant indeed. Sabina of uh, Brandenburg. Sabina von Hohenzollern. Look at that. Eat the ham. I think he won the ham too. Yeah. He got to keep the ham and he got a meet and greet with the... Uh... Oh, cool. Nice. Wow. Ah. I guess we'll spend this money. Sure. Should a pick, please. I can do that. Hold on. I'm gonna go find it. Wait, no, I shouldn't. Because there's other people in the picture as well, and I'm pretty sure I shouldn't randomly start sharing pictures with me and other people without asking if they'd be okay with letting it be seen by like a couple thousand people, so that might not be the correct thing to do. Uh, I will try and get an edited version of it. I should have it on my PC. Alright, cool. Uh, let's go do this and that, and do some transfer trade power, and some of this. Do you have a picture of me in the ham? No, I don't have a picture of me in the ham. Alright, let's go piece that out, even though it's kinda ass. And, uh, yeah, so either... I guess now we'll try landing on him. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I guess I'll try unseizing my stuff, and we'll leave, uh, like, 2,000 guys behind here. We must protect our trade. No, we must leave some guys behind in Genoa. And hopefully we can land. I don't I don't know. I mean it's worth a shot, I guess. It's not like we can get a leader. Yeah. Stretch your faces out a little. No. Oh god! The worst part is because he's in this no in this zone, if he wants to stop us he can. Like so I think we either need to just grant Genoa over to... Ah, crap. Do you know where the word restaurant comes from? Yeah, from restoring yourself to your original state. Because you're sick and you need to eat soup. And I'm sure it, it's shocking. Uh, we we can leave like half of these behind and go for a long uh, Avignon. Soup? Yeah, it comes from soup, I know. Crazy. Don't touch me. I think he's trying to touch me. 
Hey, so now they're all trying to touch me? So we leave the heavies behind. Stop this music. It's uh, Ocean's Eleven music, but we can't use that, so we type in Diamond Heist in Epidemic Sound. Let me click this. Give the heavies an admiral. Oh yeah, I'll get an admiral with my negative 415 dip. <laughs> no! No, 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 no! Crapper. Crapper. No, no, no. You stopped both. Ah, yes, so the plan was, the plan was to, uh, how you say, uh, delay the enemy navy in the Côte Azur, uh, and then we could uh, enter course. Oui, mais, uh, ce n'est pas possible. Giochino uh, is stopping us. No, 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 no. No, no. We can still try, uh, but I think we have to. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Philippe. Uh, Philippe Le Bon. And Philippe Le Hardy. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so we've got no other way out of this other than to feed Provence land. Which is kind of sucky, but what are you gonna do? No, no, no. Okay, how much land do you need? Man, that sucks. 35. Wait, did he, did he exploit the development or something? He needs 35 development. So I think I'm just gonna give him Genoa. And then we'll just dev him. But got one more. Okay, uh, let's give him eight. Hey, Genoa, listen. Let, Genoa, what the fuck? Oh, he can't make it into a core because he doesn't have a coastal province on siege. Uh, yeah, okay. It's fine then. I guess we can get a little bit. I don't know what this music is. Jesus Christ. Music's kind of shut. Let's go back to the French music. The question is will Provence click the button? Oh, they will. Don't worry about that. They 100% will. Ew. No. What are you doing, by the way? Oh, he's seating down some random crap up there. Can you go breach this and that? And get this crap done? Okay, also, we can peace out Genoa now. Yeah, it will be okay. I do want his money, though. Alright, now he's gonna click the button. Click it! Click the button! Click the button! Click the button! Click... Now we we. C'est bon. Juste fini, j'ai terminé. 21 
Wait, I have to pay dip for that? Oh, uh, yeah. If we want to occupy it, we need to... If we want to get the discount, we have to occupy it. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, but first things first, we gotta go liberate all of this, beat up the those guys, and then deal my right way. That's fine. Oh, this doesn't exile my unit. I'll exile my troops. Can I get like a proper mill guy? Yeah. Maybe my ruler into a leader, but I don't want, really want that. We can get between 7 and 15 pips. Who wants to be my leader? Do you ever get positive diplo? Well, we had it at the start. No, it's not a negative 99 credit score. Speed roll. Don't worry about it. I'll have it fixed in no time. Merv1432. Oh, very well rounded. Beautiful. Oh, and we got too long. Right, let's gather everyone up and start dealing with this crap. Everyone needs to attach to the Diego de Marie or uh, no the, to the Dutch army. That's fine. Dutch, Dutch. Hey, Dutch. Is Naples a co-belligerent? Uh, oui, oui. Uh, Naples is a personal union with uh, Aragon. Uh, so, uh, ça n'est pas un problème. Oui. Ah oui, bon. On y va. We're going to liberate Rennes. I hope I pronounced that right this time. This is stack with the army of Aragon. But not the Rans. Wait, stop. Alright, cool. 28. Is this trick happening today? Oh god, for fuck's sake, yes. The trick will happen uh, when Charles dies, so it will happen today. Sorry, I didn't mean to lash out. <laughs> I can imagine you've been sitting here waiting for the trick, and you can't see the trick, and uh, it must be very frustrating. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. I've got very happy nobles, that's nice. Oh, we could also revoke the patrons of the arts. I don't think I want to do that, though. In fact, I kind of want to give them something else. Maybe give him a uh, monopoly on paper or something. Yeah, we'll do that. See, so now he's really happy. What trick? Is there gonna be a trick? What trick? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yes, exactly. Okay, so... We should either... I'm gonna push up to Roussillon and then we'll tell half of our army to go the other way. This is kind of awkward though, so maybe we should do Nambon first and just siege race him. Should be able to beat him to it. What with our... No, we've got a lot of cannons. Oh yeah, I'll totally beat him to it. And then he's gonna be stuck actually. No, no, he can always run down south. That's fine. Yeah. How old is my ruler? 55. Which means he has an average life expectancy of like 67 at this point. Something like that. Should be able to beat him to it and then crush that army. Should all be nice. Should be able to beat him to it and then crush that army. Okay. I'm gonna get there on the 28th. Yeah, we're outnumbered, but we're way stronger than he is. So. I wonder where he's gonna run off to. <laughs> really? That's how you retreat now? This is bull. Alright, whatever. <laughs> yeah, my disloyal vassals will unseach their provinces. I might wanna like 
help him out a little bit. So if we could get you guys to go help out over there. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm missing a cannon. Yeah, somewhere. Let's go get one. Wait, you need extra garrison for this? Oh no, we just didn't have enough guys. Okay. And this will give me ticking as well, which is nice. Yeah, I'll just send 5,000 cannons and 5,000 infantrymen into Naples, and we'll keep the rest here to keep the line block. Why do I need to fight France again? 92. Did you like ally Castile or something? No, Hamburg and the Pope. Okay, that's fine. If you're going bankrupt now, would you lose another 100 dip points or would it reset to negative 100? It would reset to negative 100. So that would be a way to get 500 dip. I don't think that's worth a bankruptcy though. I don't even know if, if we get to negative 999, if that would be worth a bankruptcy. I don't think it would be, if you ask me. Bankruptcy is pretty bad. I don't know, is that worth 900 dip? Uh, I guess maybe if you instantly break the rebels. Okay, Cypress wants a white piece. Let's do it. And... Yeah, we need to get a Siege Team. I guess we could attach you to the Armée de Chamon. Hold on, Kitty wants to... Okay. Um... And then we'll have the Boschioli attached to the ammunition wall as well. Yeah, this is kind of awkward. I don't have 40k units. So... We'll have to hold the line with 12k and we know that there's like 50 in here, so this is actually kind of awkward. But I wasn't gonna leave... Leave it the way it is. Okay, well this is good. He's teaching that down, so we can probably move to Pernius, actually. Although we don't have any... Fafan. Really? And he's probably gonna cancel the mill access as we walk along. Because that's just how he rolls. Can't we get mill access to Genoa? Yeah, yeah. It's way faster if we do that. Oh god, I'm gonna need Florence as well. I have to cancel these. Also, we don't need this anymore. Just march straight through. He's probably going to cancel the Pope as well, because he's an ass. And we'll just cancel this as we walk along. Okay, we got Carcassonne, and then we can move over to Pernius. Maybe tell these guys to attach to me, again. The loyal ones. Yeah, cancel that. Cancel that. Cancel this one as well. And burn that. Okay, never mind. I don't want them to lose their crap. The Improvance need Corsica? Yeah, or 100 dev. So, because they couldn't land on Corsica because we don't have a navy, uh, I just gave them the... This is really dangerous. And I, they're not following me at all. So, like, what the fuck are we doing here? Are you not following me? Please follow me. Hello? Don't follow this. Don't. You don't need to follow this. This is not... What are you doing? Oh, fuck. He's going this way. C come here. Come, come here. No, 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 no. Wait, he's already movement locked now. Okay, don't go that way. Just follow me. Just stay here. Hello? Stay. Hello? No. Okay, I got Naples. Exactly the F cores on. Oh, everything. Sweet. Where's the French tooth? Two years from now.
Are you like full annex Naples? What? Oh no! Oh no! So I have to fight him twice anyway. Because I declare war for the Toulouse Court. And now I can't give this. And because he's a union- Wait, it would work on every province except Naples, right? Maybe? Yeah, it would work on every province except Naples. No, 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 not transfer vassal. That wouldn't work. But it will work on every province except Naples because you can't use return core in the capital. Yeah. That's what we missed. You can't take all provinces anyway. Okay, so it doesn't really... I'm just gonna lose it and then we'll lose it forever. It's fine. Okay. Let's try and siege some perennials. Maybe with our vassals. It Attach. Okay. Okay, we'll attach. So that's why we're marched into Spain. To attach. Yes. So you're attached to me. Yes. So you will follow me. Yes. So we're going left. Right. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> okay, can you follow this guy? Oh. <gasps> We might need to wait for these guys to come. <laughs> Are you attached to this guy? No, you're not. You're just being really fucking stupid. Why? Oh, it's not that complicated. Also, you can't just walk straight into Dorona. So why, when you walk into Nambon, would you walk like that? I don't know. It's fine. Yeah, that's why we changed the title from nice relaxing, I suppose. Okay, we can take all of this. Yeah, this is perfection. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Why not annex vassals? Well, it's a bit hard to do with negative 500 dip. But other than that, I'd love to. Also, they're kind of not exactly loyal, I suppose. Can we cancel any mill accesses? No. Okay, it looks like they're sort of attached. Can you follow me? Can you, can you, oh! Oh! You might even be able to fight a battle. Ah, perfect! Okay, we have to bird. Yeah. We knew that that, uh, that was gonna happen. Oh, we knew that that had a chance of happening. So, alas. Bit sad, but it is what it is. Is that the trick? No, that's not the trick. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like I said, we couldn't... Uh, I'm not gonna do it all over again just to be able to show you the trick, so... Yeah, that's the unfortunate bit about doing anything Burgundy Inheritance related. At least it was just after an autosave. Yeah, so we burn as little as possible, I guess. I do need to go back to the backup. But yeah. Alright. But actually, because it was right after an autosave, that's actually the worst situation. The ideal situation would be right before an autosave. Because if I had pressed continue there, it would have sucked. 
Uh, did we burn Girona, by the way? In this universe? We did not. Um, need to split this guy up. Go over there, so that we might be able to use our vassals. Also, these guys can make their way home. Do I need to cancel any mill accesses still? No. This timeline is way better anyway. What? Why? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this. Uh, Calabria would get Altavon seeds. Wait, would it? No, it, it won't. But I'm, I'll just get one guy to go back there just in case it will at one point. I think it's because it's a different owner. Oh, and now they follow me. Okay, let's give that over to Toulouse again. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't unseat across tags. No, of course it doesn't. Okay, so they are in here. We couldn't see them coming, so there wasn't really much we can do. I'm just gonna march in now. These guys are gonna arrive on the 17th of March. These are gonna arrive at the 16th, so I'll have these guys wait one day and then move in. Oh, goodness. Are we gonna win this? I don't know. We're only using nine or something of our real good units and the rest is all my mercs mercenaries or my uh, vassals and they kind of suck so we might actually end up losing this yeah let's retreat wait for the reinforcements and then go in it's much better nothing is wrong nothing is wrong nothing is wrong this isn't exactly French, is it? Yeah. I'm just gonna go. I don't. I can't really see what's happening. But okay, we we enter this in the most awkward way possible, but it shouldn't matter. No. All right, onwards to Perinios. What? Oh, come on! Something is wrong. That song was wrong. For instance. Uh, okay. How much more do I need to piece them out? Like a hundred? I just need to see some Perennials and Valencia, and then we have it. <clears throat> but that is something that we're gonna need to do, so. Shouldn't take too long, though. We got a lot of war score here, so. I mean, we got a lot of cannons. Sorry, I can't talk. Isn't it worth paying the 50 dip to take the province of Naples? You're not gonna hit negative 99 that far by the best province over there. Well, the thing is, even if I did, I'd pay the extra price for it. So either I take it now and pay the extra price for it, or I take it later and take the pay the price for it. Because if I take this, I'll pay extra AE and extra dip. The same amount of dip that I would take if I took it later. So there's just no point not to take it. Uh to take it. Oh wow, we got very lucky. Sexy. Isn't French War next year? Yeah, it's a couple months. Like four months. We're gonna want to declare war for the most expensive province, just in case. So I'll declare war for Centon. Am I eating a trick? No, I'm eating Mentos, stay fresh. <laughs> or whatever their slogan is. Is 
Is that illegal even though it's not a real an actual sponsorship? I guess you guys wouldn't be able to tell, right? Maybe, maybe we shouldn't show brands. Um, okay. Extra prestige, don't mind if I do. And just just get this. Just just get it. Just get it. I need to go fight France. Just get it. Just just get it. Come on, just just get it. I need to go fight France. I've got like one month to fight France. Come on, just get it. Alright, we'll get it next month. Would only be illegal if it were sponsored and you didn't disclose it. I, I see. But how can I prove it's not sponsored? Ah, Vanish Paper Controller. It seems in this universe there's a lot less people in, um, investing into uh, Paper State Cram. Just, this must be incredibly disgusting. All right, give me this and return all that other crap to Provence. And it sh should be willing to give me this, yeah. All right, cool. So now we go fight France. And uh, we just have to go win this war now. Before Thingy dies. There's not about proving, however, he's tax- oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess you'd find out. No Naples? No, of course we didn't take Naples, because we can't- we couldn't. It was not possible. I guess I'll go deal with the Pope first. Because it's nice and easy to go deal with that. I hope we can just walk over there. Some of these merc companies are really weak. Does that mean I'm spending less money on those? I'm assuming, yeah. Um, no, I'm assuming, I know. Yeah, we don't have access to Genoa, and I don't think he'd be willing to give that to me. No. So we are gonna need to walk all the way around. Wait, no, oh, this is stupid. Dude, as- what? Tenth of September. Uh, it saves me ten days. Well, how much does this save me? Twenty days. That's like a siege tick. Tell your fastest to siege. They might take care of France. Nah. They won't. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I don't think so. So we're dealing with France and Hamburg, right? Oh, uh, sorry. People sit in Hamburg, yeah. Not with that attitude. No, vassals can't be useful. It's a... It's a contradiction in Terminus. Because, you know, it has... Fast... Ass... Fast... No! Okay, well, I guess you fought a battle. It's not the end of the world. Um, I can go grab this. Oh, this whole scout system. I mean, I guess it's nice. I don't want active uniformity. Just want to siege some Rome. I, I might want to get another merc company. Uh, let's see here. Can we get, like, the grand company or something to start a siege? Loyal vassal seize troops button. What? No, vassals just... I don't know. Vassals are just... just, ah, just they cannot be bargained for or reasoned with. They're just... Ah, let's make a king into a leader now as well. Uh, maybe not yet. Who wants to be my leader? Public void. Alright, let's go. Public. Public void. Wow. Is that the absolute minimum? Seven and 
And no, it's not the absolute minimum. It could have been a little worse. Cynical boy, let's go make you into a leader as well. Cynical boy. Wow. It's getting really unfortunate here. I'm not gonna use another one. Because I wanna be able to breach walls. How old are we? 58. Really need to hurry up now. Because we could die at any given time and I don't want to miss a death. Well, not another one. And you should be full annexable, right? Yeah. Good. We can afford to pay for it as well. Uh, yeah, we can cancel the mill access to thing. That's that's right. The real trick was the friend we made along the way. Uh, how upset would you be if I told you that? <laughs> okay, how much money are we losing? Ten ducats. Uh, very. <laughs> no, I can't just abdicate. Because if I abdicate. You can't abdicate whilst at war. So, rip. Alright, cool. Uh, let's go do this. And take the war up as well. Thank you. Maybe an almond of cheesies with I don't fucking know. You give me your trade power? Yeah, sure. Okay, fantastic. And Hamburg. The real trick was the France we <laughs> made along. <laughs> I don't even know if I really need to see to town Hamburg. Wouldn't I get like close to 90% from occupying this crap anyway? Probably. I don't really know. Um, you just walk. Why are you stopping? Oh, look at that, extra dip. Why did you stop? I right, just head over to Hamburg then. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine, head over to Shot Speed five. No optimization can be done here. I don't have any mill accesses in this, right? No. no. It's just a matter of win the sieges. That's it. And we can't get mill access to get the... I'm gonna delete this. This is actually disgusting. Why do I have negative 500 dip? Because I own France as vassals and uh, southern Italy. And this. Alright, cool. If only I was Japanese. Still half of those cannons to go with them. Yeah, seems good. Let's breach these walls as well. Right, we got Oupetois. Oupetois Hamburg, you want peace? Yes! Nice. Okay. We just need both of these sieges and then we'll be good to go. Um, yeah. Good to go. Wait a minute. See, now he's not gonna be willing to give me this, right? No. Ha ha! 
But I think he will be willing to accept. Okay, Vassal, stay home. Stay the fuck home. Stay Zed. And also, now, we're gonna get Charles de Bourgogne as a leader on the Chatre Fort. You're just gonna sit there, and now that he's here, we have a yearly death chance increase. Yeah, and the ticking will get us over, uh, so that we have enough war score. There's no rebels in this anymore. We can go kill these rebels. But yeah, we're, we're set. We're good to go. Ready for your trick. I'm just gonna go for one little break, and then we'll be fine. Conclude the war and advocate afterwards. Nope. Now we need thingy to die. Now we just need Charles to die, and then we're ready for the trick. Yes, uh, we can go fight these guys, and then I think we're gonna get rid of our mercenaries. In fact, I'll get rid of them now. Am I still losing dip? Yeah, because of all the mill accesses. Let's cancel that. It is trick time. Magic show. <laughs> I like how this is exactly the same as what we've already been listening to. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're just waiting now, I suppose, for Charles to die. He is 60 years old, so he's got a very high yearly death chance. He's also fighting this, so... Should be good. What is that? Okay, these will probably succeed. So it's a uh, speed 5 time now. Okay. Yeah, my vassals probably have a little bit of war exhaustion. Still one mill access in Berg? Oh, thank you. Let's cancel that. The relations with my subjects is high enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> no. He's still positive. It's good. Aren't you gambling that you could take uh, Chatre in three months? Not really, because... Uh, oh, what? <laughs> 
Uh, the ticking war score is going to go up by 21 points. So, unless my ruler dies right now, in which case I'll just assault. Still losing money, which kind of bothers me a little bit. How much money am I losing? <gasps> yeah! Boy, but I already let one event happen. Uh, okay. Fine, fine, fine. We have Marita Burgoyne. Um, I need to take this fort now. Oh, it's trick time. This music isn't ominous enough. Um... Uh, why is this all like this? <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's quickly go grab Chatre. Ah, no mistakes allowed now. Okay. Okay, we got 92% with the cannons. I can just afford to wait nine days. It's probably just gonna succeed. Watch it fail. <laughs> okay, we got it. So! <clears throat> it is this... It is as we had always feared, the Duke of Burgundy has passed from his life to the heavens without producing an eligible male heir. With the Duke's untimely demise, Marie I of Burgoyne has ascended as Duchess of Burgundy. However, with her claim relatively weak in the eyes of many noble lords and ladies, Burgundy is seen as ripe for the taking by the ambitious King of France and the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Marie the First is as brave and intelligent young is a brave and intelligent young woman, but if Burgundy is to survive the crisis without falling into conflict with one of the major powers, then Marie the First must marry into a prestigious royal family to seek their support and protection. Oh, we're gonna do some sweet home Alabama here, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, Marie the First will be wed in a traditional patrilineal marriage, so Burgundy will essentially be a subject to a foreign nation. But in this time of great chaos, what choice do we have? Come what may, Burgundy shall remain Burgundy. This may lead to war with France. The Emperor may demand the Lowlands. Ah, ooh. No, no, no. Let's see what's behind door number two. The Von Wetten Prince will do nicely. We will fall under a union with Saxony. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. No, that doesn't seem very nice. Let us reintegrate with the French. We will fall under a personal union with France. Hmm, interesting. No. No, I don't think we want that either. I think, I think what we should do is first, settle our business with France. I would like to vassalize you. Thank you. Oh, we will fall under a personal union with France. It's interesting. But, uh... But, uh, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna happen, seeing as how we're going to inherit France. But, uh, anyway. France, how about you become Burgoyne? Because right now, you're a devolver, and I don't want a devolver. I want to marry my brother! Hmm? Sweet home Vienna. <laughs> God damn it. Get the music back. All right. So, France, place relative on the throne. And now, Duke Eudes the fifth de Burgoyne. Okay. You ready for this? Let us make these vassals disappear. <laughs> and now I hope you understand why I said you'll know when we've done the trick. <laughs> this is so pretty. Oh my god. Yeah, it slaps the roof of my country. This bad boy can fit so much golf cap. All right, cool. So we were supposed to follow a union with uh, France. Wait, what? Liberty desire? <laughs> what the? Wait, what? <laughs> um. 
but uh, there is no France. Um, uh, oh, okay, there you go. Due to change in your country, nobility will no longer have the privilege strong duchies. Fantastic. Uh, so we could form France now if we wanted to. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Small PP. It's all 0% autonomy land too. Yeah, it's very sweet. Uh, Alright, uh, let's go see how much golf cap we can actually use. <laughs> Yo, I'm picking at, man. I need the golf cap. I'm sorry. I don't care if you think it's lame. I'm picking at, man. We can set some new rivals now. We can rival Castile and the Alta Potatoes. And also, let's go see what kind of missions we can finish. Integrate Navarre. Okay, that gives us claim on Savoy. Unite the realm. Kingdom divided. Fantastic. So, what was the trick exactly? So, uh, alright, let me explain. So, if you fall under a union as Burgundy, uh, you inherit all of your subjects that are French or HRE. Um... So, that's why we could go completely ham with subjects and we'd integrate them all for free. Which is very nice because you can conquer this land without getting any sort of aggressive expansion at all. Because you're using vassals and all sorts of wonky donkey business to get this land. So nobody cares about what we've done. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, that's why stealing the French vassals is very nice. King of the Franks, all fine and dandy, blah, 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 blah. Um, but... In order to integrate all your vassals, you do need to fall under union. Now, there is a way to get out of that if you vassalize the person uh, that is unionifying you, becoming the overlord, because he'll then be your vassal, which means you inherit him. You inherit the person that is your overlord. Uh, but in order for France to be an eligible option, you do need to... Uh, France to be independent and exist. That's why we had to bird the Union crap with Castile because it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work if they were unionified. So I'd have to like break the Union, uh, get a new truce, fight him again, blah 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 blah. And now my monthly dip gain is 14. So we'll have this uh, stuff paid for in just a sec. Can you come a lecture of the H3 with that? If you have an elector as a vassal, can you inherit him? Yes! But I'm not entirely sure, because it might make it so that- Oh, also this is happening. <laughs> We're gonna inheritance fired. Um, but yeah, I think we've survived now. Okay, no, we need to wait for the Imperial incident. But there's already an Imperial- Oh no, that's this thing, okay. He's gonna demand the lowlands. He's a crazy person. Uh, Vassal does not make you an elector, no. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, no, uh, only a, a PU with an elector would give you an electorate. So, uh, yeah, let's go statify our stuff, at least what we can. We can also do all sorts of... I could do this. Which I guess we will, otherwise we can't really make use of our land anyway. So, I guess I'll just concentrate all of this. <laughs> Feels like a bit of a shame, but it's whatever. Because we lose all the dev, right? Or we lose 20% of our development here. I'm already an empire, so it's fine. Okay, so now this place is 169 development. <laughs> uh, we'll go state to buy some stuff. Move capital to English Channel? Sure. Uh, let's see. Okay, we can keep that. We can keep this. Uh, what's another cool state? It doesn't really matter. Like, we can actually statify quite a bit. Yeah. Concentrate development will be nerfed in the next patch. I'm sure it will, but it's still gonna... Still a nice way to, like, get rid of the development, right? Okay, that would put us over the limit. Let's not grab that. Alright, sweet. Uh, so now, when, once we've survived the succession... Also, our ruler is now... It is Judas the Fifth. So, you do get the French ruler, which is interesting. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't want to lose my Borgoyne dynasty, so. Sell troops because over force it? Ah, uh, yeah, one sec. We are way over force it. Let's get rid of all these mercs now. 
And we also need to deal with all these rebels and also deal with our fort system, which is a complete mess. Uh, let's go to you, and you, and this thing, and that thing, and this thing, and Chatre. And we can also get rid of Auxerrois now, I'm pretty sure, yeah. And then this is sort of connected now. Wait for the month tick? N yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait for the month tick. Mary isn't even your console. Yeah, that's kind of sad, isn't it? Oh, you are strict, though. That's cool. Also, we can uh, fix our stability. And uh, I'm still losing like a uh, thousand ducats a month because we're still over four summit. Uh, let's try and see. We need to get rid of like a whole bunch of this crap. Does that mean you can roll the French ruler until you can get something better? No, because they're, you can only do it um, if they don't have the correct dynasty. Dutch revolt? No, no, that's not gonna happen. Woof! Can I please recreate using half puppets? <laughs> no, I can't. See if the pretender is better. I mean, even if the pretender is better, the pretender is not going to be a bur burgundy one, so I don't want to keep him. Also, we can get rid of this super expensive dude. Okay, now how are we doing now? We should probably try to move our trading capital here, but... Also, I make 21% of the trade power here, so getting this dude from the Rhineland in there is probably best. Uh, I want to play the Vive Henry Cotterth thing again. Uh, Henry for song. Yeah, that one. Ah, oh, nice. For the trick, both France and Marie disappeared. Yeah, Marie will come back though. Marie will come back. Because once we click this... Well... <laughs> oh, we add ourselves to the H3. Uh, uh, okay. I guess. How much money are we losing? Still 14. Jesus. Hmm. I guess Fort Maiden is still really expensive. Move capital to the Lowlands for preventing Dutch rebellion. Uh, yeah, I guess we could move it to Brussels. Which province would that be? Lyon? I know. Gant? Oh! The Last 10 seconds didn't happen. Uh... <laughs> yes, move the 169 capital. Okay, I may maybe not do that. Maybe not do that. Ah, man, I'll just kill the Dutch. It's fine. Sorry, <laughs> reading lessons, spot. <laughs> Thank you for the bit. Thank you for the bit. Okay, what if we stop paying for our army? Can we... Oh, God. So expensive. Yeah, you'd think, with all this land, we'd make some money, but no. Oh, so I'm paying a lot on naval maintenance, actually. So we can rival something else? Muscovy? England? Wow, okay, sure. Lower the autonomy? It's all 0%, the stuff that we integrated. 0%. Pretty damn good. Darwin's Game, thank you for some for 34 months of romance. Tip matters to you, sir. Delete Anjou Fort? Oh, yes, definitely. Don't want to have to pay for that. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the most optimal trade setup here. Uh, let's see. I got these. Boom. Uh, then we have... Another eight... What? Where's the other two? Oh. Okay. So that's better. Uh, we can go protect trade now. In, I guess, English Channel. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're making money now. Sexy. Now, this army is way too fucking expensive. There's no way I can maintain this. Also... Yeah, I, 
I need all of these. How close are you to Big Blue Blah with this trick? Uh, 11 provinces away. We got five years! <laughs> So you, you pretty much already have it now. What? That's crazy. Really? Oh, this is all you need for BBB? Huh. But you can't do it as France, though. And you'd have to start as France to do the big blue blob. So you can't really do that. I remember one hour ago, Floyd just complained about heavy shit built time. I didn't complain about heavy shit built time. I complained about the sailors' cost on the galleys. But. And the build time on the galleys, I guess. But, um... We don't need a navy. Because... Well, what do I need still? We need to take Aachen and just blob into the HRE now. Yeah. Yeah, we just need to blob into the HRE. Now, um, chat, should we dismantle the HRE or become it? Because I'm uh, pretty sure a lot of these missions are like, oh, ah, influence princes, ah, lead the empire, blah, 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 blah. Um, so, yeah, we can pull that. That's fine. Uh, I don't want a Miller. Sorry, I want Marie. The thing with becoming it is that we're gonna want to kill... Uh, oh! <laughs> right, uh, so we own one center. That's uh, easy. Uh, Lambda Revoke would be really awkward in this position. Uh, oh, yeah, so if you wanted to really, like, optimize this, what you can do is if you do the Lambda Revoke before this, if you do the Lambda Revoke before you do this, uh, you can inherit all of the HRE Princes as well, using the same thing. So you inherit all of this. But, that is really fidgety to do, I suppose. Paul active? No, I'm, I'm not gonna do it again. Also, we're playing uh, the same song over and over again. What was this? Yeah, I don't know what this is. This is OP. It is kind of nice. It is kind of nice. I, I'm pretty sure if we just played normally, uh, we would have probably conquered roughly the same amount of land, actually. I mean, with a start like Burgundy, at this point, if we played it normally, we probably would have gotten more. But, I mean, it's nice. It's a cool little trick, right? All of France by 1495. I mean, if you take a look at our Venice campaign, at 1495, what do we own? This? So, I think it's possible. How much is this? 1060. Oh yeah, easy clap. But, um, you know, this was way more fun. Check what you for Alexander posted. One sec. How to go over Cuff Cap with uh, Burgundy. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? Is this the, uh, the HRE thing? Yeah, Fat Revoke. There you go. Yeah, land the revoke and then you can do the... You can integrate all of the HRE in one go. How many provinces for Lotharing? Yeah, uh, we just need to go grab Aachen and Cologne, I believe. And then another X amount of provinces. Let's see. Aachen... And just anything in this area, basically. Um, but yeah, let me go check the poll. 
Okay, so 76% said become the HRE. So we'll try doing that. We'll try babysitting the HRE for a little bit. Well, for a little bit. Um, I'm gonna want to make work work of that. Uh, thankfully, there has been there has been a pragmatic sanction. All oh, right, but if we want to become the H3, we're gonna need to allow allies, I suppose, because I don't see how else we go. Um, no, that doesn't need to be necessary. Once we've joined, once we've joined, it'll work. Also, we can fix our legitimacy. I might want to grab like diplomatic ideas if we're gonna do that. Uh, let's go get uh, more improved relations here. So, hold on. We still need to own all those provinces. So there's that. Go to war and vassalize is legit. Well, yeah, but then you have other issues. So are we making money? We got Barwa separatists as well. Oh, also all of this land has zero separatism. It's also kind of sexy. I only get that if they don't allow me to join, which we can click that when there's no thing active, right? Yeah. But I mean, we've resolved it, right? So like. Convert my center of reformation? I can't because it has religious zeal until 1518. So 1518 we can convert that. If you join your HR, you become a duchy. Oh yeah, no, that's right. Uh well that's kinda ass. But there's no getting around that because the mission requires me to do to do so. Alright, now we're making 20 dockets a month. That's actually kinda nice. Yeah, we're grabbing admin ideas here, and then once we're done with all the other crap, we could probably catch up with Diplotech soon. Um, I might actually want to use this dude anyway. We should have, we do have the money for it, so uh, that will allow me to fix my my crap a little faster. And what do we do with this? We could sell C's. Very nice. Uh, Green Acadian, thank you for gifting five subs, man. Tip matter to you, sir. You can stay outside and vassalize elected. Well, yeah, but the mission requires me to join. Also, I need to fix my legitimacy now. To not die. Also, we don't have to pay for our forts, so let's mothball those. And we'll just uh, improve relations for now. Alright, some extra dips. So when will we be out of the hole? Well, it's gonna take some time. Oh, actually, only on dip deck 3. Like, it's not... We spent a lot of dip, but we didn't spend like crazy amounts, I suppose. I wonder how much dip we've actually been spending. So we can build some sexy buildings here. To make some more cash. Uh, these will probably pay back on themselves before we delete them. What is the disaster? It is, uh, hold on, this music is really loud. The disaster is a peasant's war because we don't have uh, manpower. Heresy, burn the books. Also, you might be able to become paper controller. Again. That'd be nice. Upgrade centers in the channel? Uh, yeah, we should probably do that. And try and move our trade capital there. Eventually. I don't think upgrading this is actually worth it because uh, we're having a 50% discount. Or uh, malice. So that probably wasn't pay payback for itself. Can you build town halls? Sure, yeah. And we're still making money, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20, 18 knockets a month right now. With our um, four admin advisor. Yeah, I think so. F so I think for now, we're just gonna speed five for a bit and uh, just improve relations. Uh, get our legitimacy back, and we'll wait for this uh, incident to happen. Wait, what? It happened? Demand lowland independence. Well, can I say fuck you? Or uh, did they not actually demand it? Kill the edge? 
Uh, calm your tits. Oh, they sent it to France. Right. Right, they did. Uh, so, I guess France doesn't exist to say sure. So, I guess we'll have to wait to 1500. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's fine. And we can fix this by just strengthening government. I don't know, are we really far behind? We were kind of far behind the mill as well. So maybe get like an upgraded mill guy. Perhaps even this dude. Can we afford that? Yeah, sure, let's do it. You have more land than you played normally, but isn't your AE so low that you can grow? Um... Yeah, that's right. I don't have any AE. That's that's true. If we played normally, we'd have uh, lots of coalitions and shit. And now we've got nothing. So it's a very comfortable way to get to 1k dev, I suppose. Yeah. Very comfortable way. Now, I wonder if there's like any other thing that you can really do. I suppose not, right? There's no other country that you can do this with. Because you have to be Burgundy, basically. The edge is in a coalition. What? No, they're not. They're just uh, hostile. Yeah, okay, so Liege is there. Well, we can go improve relations with him. Let's also go get... <clears throat> suck up to Saxony. And this guy. Bohemia. Oh, we can Royal marry him. Just tuned in. How exactly did you get all of France without getting AE? Uh, we used a trick. We used the trick, a uh, Burgundy inheritance trick. I fell into a union with France, and at the same time I vassalized France. And if you inherit... If that happens, then... You inherit the country that you fall under a PU... That you fall under a PU in? Fall in a PU? Under? Fall in a PU... You vassalize the country that you fall in a PU under. Uh, and that means you inherit that country, and then there can't be a PU. With which you fall under a PU. There you go. Yeah, uh, uh, I don't have... Uh, I don't... Uh, the language that they speak in the British Peninsula... <laughs> isn't my native language. Alright, we need to build a, a thing in uh, Hino. It's a running joke. It's a running joke. Burgunception. There you go. <clears throat> oh, this is sexy. Let's do it. Some extra uh, legitimacy there. So... This is not gonna happen, is it? No. We could PU them. Or Royal Marry them. Yeah, we'll wait until like 1500. And then I, I gotta stop the stream. Because I gotta do stuff. Actually, a full insula. Mm, an insula. Doggerland. Mean to tell me there's no uh, water here? Okay. Uh, we have enough time to finish this. Fantastic. And also, yeah, let's uh, just grab this. It's fine. Ooh, nasty. But I'll do this. Also, I, I want to seize land as soon as we can. Um, yeah, I'll keep extending them on a poplar bee. Release C-O-R and uh, convert them. We could do that. I don't really fancy doing that. Oh, hello, Clave. Oh, I really want to join the HRE now, because we've already, we could already kill two of the three centers. Very nice. Yeah, I'll get a CB on them. And that's going to fuck my crown line like nobody's business. So we'll have to get ready to build a lot of... Actually, isn't the next thing... Oh, no, no. Uh, it'll be a little bit longer before we can get that. And we have positive dip, ladies and gentlemen. We, we we dragged ourselves out of the hole. Also, you can go privateer in Lubeck. Uh, give me a little bit of pee-pee. And also, can't we... Embargo Castile or something? Positive dip, boys! Uh, let's Embargo Castile. Also do England, I've already done that, and I get- wait, you're not my rival anymore. The Ottomans is. 
So can you go privateer in Constantinople? There you go. That's a lot of PP. Can't you release Lorraine and then use the... No, if you use the Enforce Religion button, it doesn't work. So you have to actually enforce religion through war. And that's the only way you get it. I guess we could influence him. Oh. No! Oh no! Oh man, oh but... Mm. Oh, il est, il est, il est très, très, très bon. Oh, il est magnifique, hein? Oh, oui, oui, oh, mais, oh, non, non, non. Call him Marie, anyway. Oh, Queen Marie. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. You, you be you, buddy. Does this work? <laughs> it probably won't work, right? I mean, it says queen. Ah, I should have named the empress. Fuck. Hey, we're gonna lose. <laughs> nah, we gotta, we gotta throw him down the stairs. Princess Queen Marie. Yeah, princess. <laughs> Pretty sure. Have a female ruler named Marie. Okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, interesting. Now we got the stab. We can't really go for a war though. Vault Dweller 0013, thank you so much for 12 months in a row, man. Tip added to you, sir. And Zucka Bussy, thank you so much for 70 months in a row. Tip added to you, sir. Wait until you can resolve the Burgundian inheritance. Yeah, then we can get a better ruler, you're right. Birth of Canonimalism, this changes everything. Alright, cool. Can I resolve it now? Yeah, secure the succession. And now, why does that make me join the HRE? I don't get it. Okay, so now we can click this. Stackzilla, sorry for missing your sub, man. Tip matter to you, sir. All right, so now we got promo claims on all of this. And now he's gonna say, oh, now there's an incident? Right, anyway, we need to kick him down those stairs. Sorry, Queen Marie. Maybe read for once? I mean, I did read. It said joining. <laughs> Look, the French king and the Holy Roman Emperor like ever. Eyes of the title, blah, 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 blah. This is secure succession, blah, 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 blah. Chance of new era, blah, 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 blah. So join the empire, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I, I click that. We joined the HRE. Uh, this mission will complete once our question over membership is resolved. Wait, what? It has been resolved. We are part of this now. There's not going to be anything. We are just part of the HRE now. Right? GB Marsha, thank you so much for Prime Gaming, man. Tip matters to it. Right? We're just part of the HRE now, right? Also, let's, uh, let's spread a little, uh, little money around. Why am I losing money now? Oh, because we're over golf cap. Yeah. Oh. 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 All right. Well, uh, so there is no issue. Hold on. Let me open the door for my cat. So there is no issue uh, other than my golf cap. We'll have to go fix that. Uh, how bad is this? Wait, why does that make me lose money though? Oh, because advisor cost increase, yeah? Yeah, advisor cost, okay. Just become empire, you get empire rank. Yeah, but I don't want to fire my advisors. Uh, how old is the Emperor? Oh, he's 56. Holy crap. He's got four out of... He's got all votes, though. Because he can't pass a reform. Because he's a weakling. But because he's a weakling, they keep voting for him. Because these guys don't want change. These people do not want to progress into a golden age for this holy Roman Empire. These people are keeping us down. But that will change. 
The legacy of Lothar shall be reforged. And we will put this house in order. This Sunday. Because I gotta leave <laughs> to wait some tables. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the trick. Uh, Sunday, we are going to become the HRE Emperor thing. Fantastic crap. And, uh, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go wrap this up. I might want to do the entire mission tree. I don't know. We'll see. It's, it's at least going to be another stream. Because uh, I, I got to, like, uh, get a feeble ruler. And I will want to do the Crown of Lothar crap. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, no, I will not be here tomorrow. Because, oh, wait. It, pudding kept, Yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Never mind. That's not... <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I will I will not see you tomorrow. Because tomorrow is uh, Autumn Con. Or Femboy Con. Or however you want to call it. Uh, so, well, I'll be here tomorrow, but I will be here Sunday. Banana, banana, Peter Vagina, several things I won't say. Blah, 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 blah. And, uh, yeah. Good times. Hope you guys enjoyed. Anyway, bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Also, France has uh, claims to all my land. That's interesting. Wait, what? Really? No, not all of my land. Only the French land. Yeah, only in French. Okay. Anyway, bye-bye.